Yeah, hello and welcome to the 50th episode of Life Talks with Ion Fawale. Yeah, read 50, read 50, read 50. I love that. With the voice behind the camera, we have the wizard. And I just got so much friends and family here today. I can't just, we got Big Frank in front of me, but you're going to hear and see through the whole episode exactly who and who and who's in the studio and what we're talking about. I'm talking to everybody's here, all these beautiful faces. At some point, oh yeah, if you want to hide, you better hide, buddy. At some point, you touch my heart or I know you, but your family, love you, life is very important. If you ain't got the right people around you, you can't really survive in life as far as I'm concerned. And this room is contained with people that have got different parts of me, different parts of me. I love you all in different ways. Some I've just met, some I've known for years, some I've been with since just after the womb. Do you know what I'm saying? Love you all, I'm just saying, innit? We like, love you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me Woo! pop this drink down, Love you, let me pop this drink down, yeah, yeah. yeah, but saying that now, it's good to celebrate life and talk to people about their life. That's what this show's been about over the time it's been on up to this 50th episode. Talk to people you know, understand them. Understand that we're all the same, like, trust me, people are going through the same things and people could do with a helping hand or the right kind word at the right time. Mm. But right now, the right time <laughs> is for us to party. Hey. <laughs> I can't open this thing. Oh, I can't open it. Tell me out with this thing. <laughs> Congratulations. Wait, ah, wait, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. Yeah. I have to get it, I'm going to cut it, bro. What the fuck is happening? I can't even balance with this. I can't open a bottle of champagne. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay, wait. Is it your 50th oh, birthday or a 50th I'm, episode? I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> hold tight, hold tight. It's a duck bowl. Yeah. Come on. You know what I mean? Hey! hey. Well done. He's sweating. Yeah. God bless. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to tell. Um, everyone's going to have a glass. Everyone should have a glass. But we'll do the toast again later. We've got the toast already. So long life, health, prosperity. To all of you, love you all. Your loved ones, God bless everyone. And everyone at home as well, love Amen. you all. Done now. Cheers! Hey. So, <laughs> now let's get to the person in front of me, Big Frank, my brother. Come on, bro. Already had an interview. You've got to get you back on right now because you're doing big things. And it's like, you're doing things with the family as well that I really enjoy. I seen something online and you started talking. And it's like, I watch things all the time to be captivated and motivated. This is how I get through. Like, that's what I'm interested in when I look on, on Instagram and them kind of things, yeah? When I saw your thing, because we come from the same place, and you're talking from the gut, it's like it's real. I was captivated. I looked at it, and I love what you're doing. And I want to understand, why are you doing what you're doing right now? That's the first question I'm going to ask you. Why are you doing what you're doing online, like right now, with what you're doing with... Yeah, explain what you're doing and then tell me why you're doing it, please. But first, we're going to congratulate you. Oh, my bad. 50th episode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And to see where you're at now, big things for me. You know, I see the transition. Even if people don't see it, I've seen it myself. So it's a big thing. Come on, yeah? come, on, come, on. come on. All right, all right, all right. We get misty up in here. I'm getting misty in here today, guys. Like, loud in it. Go on. Right. Yeah. Me, I, this podcast, the, mic, can I hear you? Yeah, you. the, the podcast it is, um, it's a reflection of my life because I'm one of the few that actually got a second chance, you know? So oh, sorry. I feel that it is my right to sh share it with these kids and give them uh, more options. When you say this podcast, you have to say exactly what it is for you, please. Okay, my podcast is called Real Focus Podcast. Yeah. Out there, check it out, please, out there, Real Focus Podcast. Please, please do, please do. And it's just um, to give people a more, you know, guided education about the streets and what it really entails. Because growing up, you know, I was once one of these kids. You get into it because you, you're sold the dream but you're not sold the whole package. Mm -hmm. They give you all the things that you can get, but they don't tell you what you're actually going to get. Mm -hmm. So with this podcast, I've let them know like what, what it's about, what from my own eyes myself, like mm -hmm. being a person that has I've dodged, <laughs> dodged the grave a good few times, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, 
and just to see the impact that it's left on my kids, family, partners, it's, it's been a lot. Mm. And some of these kids, they get into this world, they look at uh, cause, right, you can get the watch, you can get the trainers and everything, but they're not seeing the impact yet because they're still in the early stages of the yeah. game. Mm. But the early stages sometimes is where they drop off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't even get to get to that stage where you can sit down and say, like, I really see, like, where this is going, mm -hmm. you know? People... You don't get the chance, do you? No, you don't get the yeah, chance. Yeah, yeah. Cause until, until it's too late sometimes. Oh, there's kids, yeah. like, in, uh, like my son. I remember one time he come home and he's telling me, Dad, like, it was sad. And I'm sitting down and I'm saying, Dad, what's wrong, son? He's telling mm -hmm. me um, his friend passed away. Wow. I'm looking at my son, I'm saying... How old was your son? How old was he then? 14? I'm saying, like, what are you talking about? How can your friend pass away? I thought he was sick. No, because he knows somebody that knows somebody that is involved. And, I, and then it, it makes you look at life differently. Because... So he got killed by association to... All yeah, that kind he was, of he, he was, in, he was involved. Yeah. He I mean, was involved. Just, just like, he was involved in other stuff outside of the school curriculum. Yeah. And... <laughs> He didn't make it. Yeah. But then I sit down and I sit down to my son and I'm saying like, right. That's how like, I've guided my son so well just because of what I've been through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it shows you that you can't really control every variable. Mm. Do you understand? Because I'm giving my son everything that I can for my life story, you know, without scaring him, but just to guide him the right way. But the thing is, he's got mates in school that, you know, that they're his mates. And... Mm. To be honest, as a parent, we can do everything, but there's going to be things that we don't know, that, but the kid, his friends do know. Mm. Because when you come home to your, your dad or your mum, you're getting in trouble for them things. But around your friends, you're getting a clap. Mm. That's a good thing. So what you're saying, with what you're doing within the podcast, what you, what, that's what you're trying to achieve, awareness? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an awareness. It's like, yes, I'm not going to say to you, you can't get these things, you can, but there's a price to pay. Mm. Then people... I've got platforms, people are, and just in the road, are telling you you can get all these things, but they're not telling you the price that they had to pay. Because everybody that was in the game, if you're really in the game, you had losses. You paid a heavy price. Mm -hmm. Your parents paid a heavy price. They weren't in the game, but how they were did, in the game. How did you, because we're going we're gonna to go around the room as well, like, but how did you get to this point? Tell me about how you got to this point. Because you, you talk with so much conviction. I know you, innit? People at home don't yeah. know you. What you're saying is true. People that know you know you're, you're spitting truth. People that have gone through it know exactly what you're talking about because you're talking from the heart. But how did you get to this point where you had this, this clarity? Because I understand there's the conversation you have with your son. Yeah. But you've gone through stuff, which yeah. I know. I've gone through, like... But I want to know what was the thing which said to you, you know what? Boom. Now let me turn this around because through work you've done with, with, with the family, yeah. when I see it, what you're, what you're attempting to do and you're doing right now is reaching out to people. Like I said, if I'm feeling what you're saying, like I'm watching it and I'm getting captivated and at my age, I'm like, rah, I need to fix up all what you're saying. I'm seeing it's coming from your heart and everything. It's like, I need to know how you got, because it's not just this big guy we're seeing in front of us. No, it comes, to, the heart is bigger than the actual frame that's in front of me, basically. Yeah. And we all know that, innit? Yeah, it's as, as well as the gap. <laughs> <laughs> Why, G? You can have that one today. <laughs> Love you, bro. Yeah. Um, well, I sitting in the cell. When I was sitting in the cell, sitting in the cell, like I realized like the damage I've actually done. But I needed that cell time because the way I was going is like I was invincible. I couldn't be touched, you know, you're doing certain things, you, you're getting away with it. Maybe other people are dropping off, but you're always getting home. So every time somebody drops off, but you get home, you feel like, well, you know what? It just wasn't their time. But you feel more and more invincible. Mm. But I didn't realise the damage until I actually sat in that cell. When I'm sitting in the cell, and I can't call my mum when I want to call her. Mm. I can't speak to my kids when I want to see, mm. see them. And I, just knowing that, the life that I've lived, from the young ages that my kids were at, mm. now, as much as I say I'm doing it for the kids and I'm doing it to give them a better life, mm. so who's looking after them now? When you're banged up? Yeah. Who can protect them now? Because mm. remember, whenever you do get in this game, they're like, other people are, 
other people are brought in, drawn into the game. Because remember, there's no rules in the game. Mm. So I'm sitting there thinking that, like, wow, you know, at any Who's point now, at any point now, what I'm doing, like, it could draw my family out. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, no, I need to change this. Mm. Because I need to be there for them. Because the thing is, you know, is some, t some kids, thank God I don't, my kids are not like that, but they think if it's good enough for your dad, it's good enough for me. Mm. My son's over here as well, by the way. Yeah. Everyone back home sitting over here. Yeah. My oldest son. <laughs> Love you, son. So they'll say like, oh, it, it, it's good enough for the dad, it's good enough for me. And you know what? Daddy can change, you know? So I'll do it. And then hopefully down the line, I'll get to change. But you, you don't, want, to, you don't even want him to go down that road, do you? But the thing is, everybody's luck's different. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Everybody's luck's different. So I sat down with myself. I said, you know what? You've got to, you've got to want more for yourself. You know, seeing mum like... I couldn't see my mum, but in my letters, I could see my mum. Mm. So my well. mum wrote powerful letters to me. Every letter was accompanied by tears. So when you're reading this, and I'm a man that just refuses to cry. What, what do you mean? Like, when you say... My mum would tell me, son, keep strong, read your Bible. Dear. But you see, the words, there's a lot of tears in there. Because my mum... Mm. The subtext you're saying was... My mum is a person that will phone me and tell me these things. Okay. I've never been away from my mum, even though, even if I'm out of the house, she's always been able to contact me. Mm. So now I'm reading something and I can feel the pain inside of her. My dad, I didn't, I, 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 I phone, when I do phone, it was like, like, they're happy, but like, that's the, the happy to keep me going. Like they're putting a facade kind of Yeah, thing. but like the, the real mum, she can't be because she doesn't want to upset, upset her son. Do you understand? I know that I've let her down. But I knew I let her down. And that's what I had to, I had to, I had to change because the thing is, my mum and dad did nothing to me. Mm. My kids did nothing to me. Mm. My partner did nothing to me. You're my brother G, did you know nothing that, to me. You know you're a G, innit? I'm I want, you. No, I, seriously. If, to be able to stand up and say, yeah, clap. I want people to fucking clap for that. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, it's good to have a live audience for that yeah, as well. Because, like, to be able to know, but let's, oh, let's put up in that. To be able to say to yourself, have that realisation, know the people you're hurting, and stand up and do something about that, that's a serious thing. It's a very powerful thing. You don't, you don't, like, I'm proud of you, seriously. No, thank you. But it was, ah. it was, it's, it's, it's never optional because I'm lucky enough to have come out and I had all my family there complete. Because there's people that I was sitting there in the cell with, like, I'm sitting in the cell with them and their dinner table's just dropping off. Sorry? Their dinner table's dropping off. The seats at the dinner table's dropping off. Because the thing is, you have a full, you have a full table there, mm. and then you're in jail, you're doing your time, and people are dying, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. You know, you didn't even get, some of them, my friends in there, didn't even get to see their mum. Her last, the mum didn't even get to say, you know, son, please, whatever, because mm. no, you're dying. Because when you're in jail, sometimes they don't even let you out. So people don't even realise that you think it's just about, oh, I've got um, two weeks. You see, in two weeks, so much could happen in two weeks. Mm. You know? That you can't even control. Mm. You see, the pain that you go through in two weeks by losing somebody, that lasts you a lifetime. Mm. So that two weeks now turns into a lifetime. Mm. So it's just that, that realisation hit me. Because the thing is, I'm not going to get too many chances. If mm. I keep playing this game. Yeah, but then also, like, I don't know what you're saying, because like I said, when you talk, it's serious stuff, but this is the reason that you're doing the Real Focus podcast. No, it has to, to be. help people not to go through the same thing yeah. you've gone through or to yeah. understand, even identify these things when they're coming as well, isn't it? Yeah, but it, ha it has to be nothing more than that. It's not even about me no more. Do you yeah. understand? Because yeah. I'm here changed. 13 plus years so like it's not about me no more yeah, yeah, yeah. do you understand but there's a lot of kids that are walking in the shoes that I left in the street do you understand so <laughs> you're a poet you know I love the way you put, these, you put your words together serious I like it I have to Shakespeare ain't got nothing on me baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot no they are they're yeah, walking no, in their I, shoes I, I, everybody I that's changed is walking in the shoes of somebody else because when Frank leaves somebody wants to be Frank but a better version of Frank mm. when, when this man leaves somebody wants to be that person but a better version so the thing is mm. our shoes and the thing is we leave the game sometimes and we think we turn our back on what's outside there. Because the what thing is, I, I've survived, didn't it? So I need to fix my life up. So the thing is, you're okay, not realising yeah. that the damage that you've left there, we walk away and say, as long as we're okay, it's, forget everything outside. And our family's okay and everything. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. 
what I used to run around with lit with these older older boys yeah, and then they will have the younger it, no. kids like like I would never ever condone for my kids yeah. mm -hmm. do you get what I'm saying to you yeah. so the thing is as a man now I can sit down and put my hand up so it's not only just for the podcast is the podcast is to try and correct the steps where I went wrong okay yeah. because I, I'm I'm responsible for a lot of these people yeah, you know yeah, the parents yeah. that sat there they sit there they cry because their kids gone down the wrong road. I'm responsible give me free man I'm responsible, so you can't just say, "Oh, I changed." I changed. You, you, you Serious. haven't, you haven't changed. You changed that person that you led down the wrong road. So I don't know everybody by name because my life has taken me different routes. My number's not the same, so I don't have contact with them. But the thing is, what I will do is try and make everybody aware of what's really going on outside. You know, if we can save one, maybe then he changed his mind, he'd be able to save his friend. Mm. And then his friend might say, oh, you know what, his friend. And then, God forbid, bad thing, but if your son ever contemplates something, it might be the one that you saved that will get to your son and say, you know what, save him. it's not. What's also good is that you talk to the parents. You don't just talk to the kids. Yeah, you have to. So but... there's people that are thinking about how they're going to parent better through, yeah. through what you're saying. You're yeah, take, yeah. telling people to take accountability. Yeah, you have, you have to, because the thing is, we're too quick to blame, oh, it's his friend, it's his friend, it's his friend. But the thing is, you've got to understand, a 14-year-old kid out on the street, night at night, is your responsibility. It's not, it's not, it's not your friend's when responsibility. When you say that, who, when a 14-year-old kid is whose responsibility? The it's the parents. Parent. What is that 14-year-old kid? 14 -year -old, you haven't even done your GCSEs yet. You've still got things to study for. Get in your house. No, the parent. I'm telling you, no. Yeah, but you, cause, you know, like... I, no, I, bro, listen. I hear what you're saying, and no. I want some other people to bro, inject as well. You, you know, want, everyone, if, this is a conversation bro, for everyone as well. You right know, now, you, listen, life is not as simple as that no more, bro. There's a time where I was 14 and I could play outside my door, and I was happy just to play outside, and my neighbour was my best friend. And we could play out, like, mum would just be looking for the kitchen, six, seven o'clock, it's getting a bit dark, and we'd go in. But we knew better. Yeah. These kids out here now, at 11, yeah. some of them have... They've had sex. Some of them have had guns. Some of them have had age drugs. Age eleven, you're saying? Yeah. So the thing is, I thought you were saying time eleven. No, but I'm just saying to you. So the thing is, it's a lot. you now you've got to realize as a parent that like, I want to give my son that freedom to do this. But the thing is, at what price am I prepared to pay? Because if I said to my son go out there and he went out there and then he got linked to the wrong person, whose fault is it? Okay. So what what I want to say to that, what I was trying to say to you before is yeah that it's a lot. Like, there's, we're good parents, we're not a lot of good parents. Wait, let me learn, friend. But, uh, let me say it right. <laughs> there's some kids that are, like, are fucked up, don't listen to their parents, not going to do the right thing. Some parents can't get through to those children no matter what they do for hell or high water. The good parents who take the time can get through to certain parents, to certain kids and show them certain things and show them that if they're, if they're in those situations, because you can't prevent people from being in situations, but if they're in those situations, all they hear is your voice, your voice, their mum's voice or whatever, and they can realise what's going on and that's the voice of reason that carries them through or accountability and those, those values that you instill in them, that's what saves them in, the, in those instances. And those same values would at certain times, if it was whatever age you told them don't go out, would stop them from going out. So you're quite right. But not every parent, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to be like, thing. not every parent can control their child right now. Yeah. It's a lot right now. But the problem, going on the is, pro the is, problem is, yeah, is people are scared to tell their children the real facts of what goes on outside. They're, 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 they're cuddling their child. Oh, no, no, no. They'll tell them what they want to do. No, listen, tell them what really is going on outside. But, yeah. No, you have to. No, you have to. Because yeah, the thing I'm is, not, sorry, for I'm me, not gonna for me that, my mum, you. you see my mum. Equip them, innit? My equip them. No, it's not even about equip. There's nothing for them to equip. You just have to tell them what is the reality of outside. Because from young, my mum told me about outside. Mm. You understand? But because of situations inside, I took myself outside. Mm. Do you understand? But it's nothing to do with my mum. At 44 years old, I sit down there now. My mum and my, mom, my dad had nothing to do with what I ever did in my, in my life. Because I can sit here now and say... My mum told me and dad told me everything. But you see a lot of kids, mm. speak to them. But well, now? Oh, speak to them and say to them, did your mother tell you, ever tell you that? No, 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 no. I don't want to tell him because he's too young for that. No, 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 he's not too young. Because when mm. your son goes outside there and he picks up that gun, yeah, or he runs with that gang, you will never know. 
He's not going to come home and tell you. He's going to come home and give you the son that you want. You know, hi, mom. The hug, the kiss, everything. That's the son you're going to get. But outside, you're seeing a completely different child. So how do you prevent that then? You have to educate your child from early. You see, my children, they know everything. From age 9, 10, I told them everything. Because the thing is, you know what it is, yeah? They need to be able to go out there. Because the thing is, what I give them, it just it gives them an option. It doesn't mean they're going to change, they're not going to go down that way, but it gives them an option. Because mm -hmm. a lot of kids today, they only have what their friends tell them as the food on the table. You have to give them that option. So that if, you know what it is? Remember, they trust you. More than they trust anybody in the house. That's a parent, in, 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 yeah. 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 More than anybody. Because the thing is, remember, without you, I would never have been able to walk. I would never have been able to talk. I wouldn't even know what food is. Yeah? So you have to build that relationship. You know, it doesn't always go like that. But the thing is, if I, if I give you everything, yeah, that you need to know about outside. You see, when you get, you're, somebody comes to you and offers you a deal. Now you have what mum and dad have said and what my friend has said instead of just what my friend has said. Because because he's your friend, you have a loyalty to your friend at that age. It's not mm. just a friendship, though, it's a society. So, like, society have their agendas. That's what I was saying, yeah. you know. You know yeah, but society does kids. have its agenda, but the thing is, remember, before you talk about society, remember, your best friends. Mm. Your, you, you, it's your friend first. You learn your friend before you learn society. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So society, society becomes with part of the growth. When you become 17, 18, you start to understand what's really going on. But at 14 and 14, 13 and 14, it's just your friend. If my friend is doing something, I want to do that. Because that's what it is, it's your friend. Mm. You see, if my friend is playing a game, I want to go out and play with him. If my friend is... No, but it don't always go like that. That's no. like, it don't always go like that. Come on, man. So like, like, that's just this big sheep in how, the world. So how, like, there's like, got to be leaders and right. sheep. And no, there is leaders and sheep. But so, the thing is, when you're talking about gangs, yeah, today, yeah, there's a lot of kids in the gang. Yeah? When you see them, the roof, most ruthless ones are these kids to, today. But the, thing, the most ruthless ones are who? These, and I don't want to digress too much. I want to get back no, to you and yeah, what no, you're doing saying, and what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, and the thing they're, they're, the, they're the kids today. The kids are the most ruthless. Out what of, what out do you there. mean? Now I'm confused. No, now. The, the, younger, the, younger the, young, the youngest the ones or the leaders are the most the youngest, ruthless? No, no, forget Reckless. the leaders. The, the youngest are the most ruthless right Do you know why? You want to say why? Because they do. Because you know what it is? They're just trying to be better than the generation before. Mm. And the thing is, their goal is not so much about money, it's just to be have the name. Because before they stepped outside, they heard about so forth and so forth and so forth and so forth. They heard about what he's achieved, they heard about the cars, the this and that. So now I want to be a better version of him. But the thing is, I, on my table, all I have is food. Yeah, food, go in, you have a timetable. Yeah, that's in. the person. The, yeah, the no, the kids in the house. Yeah, timetable, wash your plate, do this, do that, do that. Nothing exciting. Do you understand? So when yeah. I step outside, this is where, like, this, that's why a lot of kids, they live. But it's lack of, that's what, it's lack of, like, just But that's why I say you have to tell your kids everything. You have to. You know, it's not about scaring them. Because the thing is, there should be nothing that a parent could do to save his child. You, there should be nothing. It doesn't matter. There's nothing you should do, prepare to do to save your child. You know what it is? If you can give your child something that can give them another option to think about, then you're halfway there. Your child still might go that way. But my mum, because of what my mum gave me, at 30 years of age, I was able to walk back and say, you know what? I need when to you change. say what your mum gave you, what do you mean? The, 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 what I'm telling you now, the knowledge. Because the knowledge, my, okay. my dad told me that, listen, about doing this and doing that. Because my, my, my mum is... Um, a godly person. Yeah, so yeah. it's God, 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 God. Even before I learned <laughs> how to talk, I learned Psalm 23. I knew everything. Bro. So it's God, 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 yeah. God. So the thing is, they yeah. tell you about these people, this is not good, this is not good. So we were flooded with that. Yeah. Everybody was flooded with it. So the thing is, it didn't make sense then because my ears were closed. But as I got older and I started mm. to go through life, yeah, and I started realising like, rah, what mum said is starting to be relevant now. So, you know, but we're still kind of ignorant to the fact because I don't want to get no, out. You see, you see what's going on, but sometimes it's just like, it's the same thing. You, you're lucky, like you said, because you was given those numbers and you was told what the equation was, yeah? Like your mum told you this and like at some yeah. point you finally saw it, right? But some people still see it like through their own mistakes as well. But some people never see it. Yeah. But some people see it without having that guidance as well. It's like, it's, it's just, yeah, it's a lot. Like... What do you want to do at the end of this film? Where do you want to see this in like five years? The podcast you're doing now, like the Real Focus podcast, how do you want to change people's lives? I, the whole goal of the podcast is it's just to give that 
mental awareness for me. I if like it's not I'm not here for views. I've never been that kind of person. I'm just here. If I can save one person or help a parent just to you know, because some parents, they don't understand it. Do you understand? They yeah, want yeah. to be able to engage. But when you haven't lived a certain life, you can't really give them what you they, the facts yeah. that they need. Yeah, You're yeah. only telling them story that they're on the news. But the thing is, I've been out, when the kid's been out five years and he's never been in trouble and he's escaped this, he's never been nicked or nothing. So, like, that doesn't, I can't relate to that. So with the podcast I've got, mm. parents can tune in, they can, like, they can hear from my experience, the impact it had on me. Mm. Do you understand? And him back there had on my parents because some yeah. of these parents are probably going through the same thing, but they don't know how to do oh, it. Yeah, deal with it. Yeah, so yeah, from yeah. there, hopefully, it can educate both the parents and the kids and give them just another way, another option that they don't have on the yeah, table yeah. to present to the kids. Yeah. You know, it's because if we can save one at least, <laughs> fucking love you. you know, at I'm least serious. one. Oh, no, that's it, all. I, that's all I want. One. Yeah. Do you know? Oh, at least yeah. want one. I want one at least. You know. Oh, yeah, 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 my yeah. journey kind of means more to me. It's not the fact that I've changed for 13 years because I should have I should have been the man I was 20 yeah, years ago. But yeah, the thing yeah, is, yeah. life took me wherever it decided to take me. But the thing is, the fact that we're able to sit down here now mm. and we're we're like changed. This is hope for all them kids that are out. And we made street. it as well, yeah. Change. This is it, hope yeah. for them, yeah. Because so many of our friends are are, are not here. Yeah. We have to pour out alcohol for them. We have to go and see them in the cemeteries. You know what I mean? There's only a few of us left. But the thing is, so this is hope for them. So just seeing this alone could realise realize that they don't have to go down that road. Mm. Because everybody's still here successful the same way without going down that road. So hopefully the podcast, it will just enlighten the kids. Nice. Give them something more to think about when they're playing with ideas, you know? Yeah. And if five years from now... <laughs> I'll point? be sitting here in a big stadium talking to thousands of kids that have not like right, say it, say it is so, yeah. <laughs> say it is so that have come to me and said to me, so. Thank you, sir. You helped me. Your yeah. story helped me. Yeah. You see that? If God says to me after that, oh, it's your time, I'll be so happy. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. my life means something now. Mm. My life will mean something yeah. then. You know? It's not just what I achieved that uh, my life will mean something to me that I've saved. All these people, mm. you know. I could get big Frank. Love that. Yours, yours, your question, bro. Yeah. Um, how do you see the world? The world is a very mysterious place. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mysterious place. Do you know what the world? Yeah. It's like. It's a big place. It's full of opportunity. Every penny on this world is up for grabs if you're prepared to work hard and work for it. But the thing is, a lot of us that were in the street, we saw the world very narrowly. We we yeah, we, yeah. Felt, we put all the negatives on the table. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, so but we studied the world through the negative eyes, through the eyes of like, no, we're black, we can't do this, we can't do that, because that's that's the way the world uh, paints it for us. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, black doesn't mean limited. It never means limited. Your mind thinking that means it's limited. Because anybody can achieve anything. Forget colour. Mm. The most powerful card is black. So you know what I mean? So you can do <laughs> You can do anything. I'm going free again. I'm going to You can do whatever you want. It's just the police. Most powerful card is black. You can, though. Yes, you work harder. But the thing is, you appreciate the journey more. Yeah. The more steps you take, the, the more you The way you're poetic, you know, I don't you understand. I don't feel you understand. I don't feel you understand. All I need is one mic, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. What's the next question? You gonna have a question? No. Give me the card. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you um, ah, what or who is your biggest inspiration? <laughs> well, that's easy. My biggest inspiration ever is my brother, Sam. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Biggest. Biggest, biggest. He's not here today. He passed away a year, Rest in peace, a year ago. Mm. But you see him, he was like the bigger brother that I never had. Because he spent his whole life trying to keep me in check. Do you know? I gave him the tools to be good in life. 
It's like I gave him my destiny so he could excel in life and he gave me his time so I could be better in life. Mm. So, you know, like he did, a, he, he did a lot for me. You know, like outside of, outside of like just being a brother, you know, the normal brotherly things, he mm. took time out. And like, I never really got to tell him as much as I should have. But he knew, because I, I, my thanking was making sure that he was okay. But the thing is, it's not about just being okay, because I'm a bigger brother. Our, our, our jobs are, as older siblings, is to just check in. Just a normal phone call. You don't have to always be the protector. Sometimes yeah. just be the person yeah. that, yo. Can I just say you, my brother's in the studio as well? I love this guy. How, how you doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it means a lot. Yeah. Because sometimes yeah. these people go through, like, Junior, he phoned me. Uh, Even like when I was going through it. Ha ha ha. Boys. Don't be sorry. Uh, yeah. Don't be sorry. <laughs> they will phone me and they'll say like, how are you doing today? You all right? Blah, blah. Just simple things like that. It's not something particular because the brother thing was a touchy subject to talk on. But the thing is the phone, they know that somebody actually just ringing me. It makes me think like, you know what, bro? Yeah, your brother's gone, but you still got a lot of people out there to live for, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. when you lose one brother, yeah, the, f the, f the people around you become your brothers. You know, the, pe the good people around you become your brothers. So, yes, I lost a brother, but I've gained so many mm -hmm. on my journey. Just this period that he's been, in a year that he's been gone, the new people that have come into my life, the new contacts I have in my phone, is mad, bro. And I always believe, to, to this day, this is not something that, if it was in my lining. But since my brother's been passed, something's been pushing me to mm. keep going. Mm. And I believe, that's why I believe my brother. Sometimes I'm sitting down and I say, I can't do this. Like, and I say, you know, you have to get up and do it. Mm. I always mm. believe, because that was my brother. So he's still here just pushing me, getting on my nerves a little bit, but he's yeah, still pushing yeah, yeah, yeah. me. Mm. You know? Nice. So he, he, he's my biggest role model, man. Mm. But I just wish that, you know, he would have seen the change for longer because yeah. he'll be proud. But he's, he's still watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 know. he's watching you know. me. I know. He's, he's got this. Is he still pushing you? You already know. 100%. 100%. Yeah. He's the reason why I'm still going, you know, as well as my family and everybody else. Cause, and I have to do it for myself. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, just having that little, mm, it makes it more rewarding, man. Mm. It's only been a month, and he's spoken at kids. Well, you've spoken to kids already. He's spoken in youth, youth center. Yeah, like, I, like, do you know, is like, just being in, being in this world, and people just not knowing you as Big Frank, and mm. you're so big. <laughs> problem solver, this, this, that. Because before it was just like eye problem. closer. Yeah, eye eye closer. <laughs> in the back, axe in the back. So he's even saying stuff. You know, actually, you didn't see axe coming, did you? Axe in the back over there, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's in the back. That eye closer. I'm not saying nothing about my solicitor. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying like, is the eye opener now? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. I fucking like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I like the audience as well. When you, when you, me. when you change your direction in life, add purpose to it. Mm. You start to open a door that people never seen before. A, like a whole different perspective of Frank. Because the Frank that is sitting in front of you now was always there. But the door that I was trying to open, I had my foot against it. Because I was, I was dabbling with the street life too much. Mm. So now when I come away from the street, the door open. And opportunities come open now. So the kids that I'm trying to reach when I'm on the road, it, now, like, I have something more focused and driven to give them. Something that can actually learn from. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? As opposed to something that can hinder them. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> man, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And I do, like, work in um, Rise 36. is another organisation. Oh, yeah, I see that. I see that online. That's what they use them. I see that online. That's I work, nice. work with these kids. I see you in a baggy. Don't look at my dog. I, I work with these kids. And I, I, some of them, I reach out to them personally and speak to them and, like, they proper take to me because they look at me as, you know, they, they judge you by the exterior first. So I want to be around you. But when they open, when I open my mouth and start talking to them. Okay, there's it in here. Yeah, but. <laughs> when I open, around, around there, go Yeah. Yeah, huh? So when I, open my, when I open my mouth and start talking to them, yeah. they start to realise, like, the game, about the but game. It, it comes from the heart, even like, because we're going to wrap up now. 
I mean, because I could talk to you all day as well. We'll get some other people on. Do you know what else is well? I'll give like three of you, if you want to ask Frank a question, any of you, like, it's up to you, please grab a question for me. In fact, anyone got a question for Frank, please? Anybody? Just don't be shy. You've been on the half, you've been on the camera. I don't want to call people by name. Someone give me a question, please. Um, it's Real Focus um, Podcast. It's on YouTube. I have, you can each also. Go on my Instagram page, Sir No Days Off. Sir No Days Off. Why are you called that, sir? Who you got? Eat that, eat it. I have no days off on my journey, bro. No, come on, you liar. <laughs> oh, lie. There's no days off. Boy, I can see the truth for the gap. I get that one as well. You're come sick. on. He said no days off because, as you can see, he trains extremely hard. He takes care of himself. Health is very important. That's why he also no days off. Yes. Need to throw him under the bus, but yeah. Yeah. Guy, could tell you, rise three six five and so yeah. no days off guard. Uh, yeah, just work with. Say teams. them again, please. Sorry, cause I interrupted you. What's up? You, like, what, um, Darren? What did you ask him? You asked him. Name yeah. of the podcast. That's what he said. Yeah, Name of um, the podcast, and then what your Instagram focus, handle is. Um, podcast. You can see, Google what? it on YouTube. Um, I'm so no days off on on, on Instagram. No, that uh, so no days off. I'm gonna do it. Get out of care. Real focus podcast. Please check it out. Real focus podcast. Real like, focus clothing. Real focus, huh? Real, Real focus, focus clothing. Apparel. Apparel, what you're wearing. Yeah. Thank you. It is my 50th episode, so you were so kind as to bring me some real focus <laughs> apparel, and I'll bring it out now. See this right here? Hey. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Bam! Nice. You will see me out in that. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you will see me out in that. Thank you. It's just a, it's a positive message. That it's, I'm just trying to... You see, sometimes in life, especially me, you've been... When you find yourself in a dark place, you don't have that people. Like, as pr as men, we're prideful. We don't really want to phone people and tell people we're going down and yeah, yeah, yeah. oh da da da. Because people always judge you. Because yeah. when they see you we here, they laugh at you see you down country. here. It's like, yeah. oh, you've fallen off. So uh, the pride's still there a little bit. So the thing is, that message on the front is the phone call that like, you when sometimes you don't reach out for. Mm. That like no struggles ever too much if you're real focused. It's helped me deal with my brother. Because without being focused, I wouldn't be here today. Because losing a brother is a lot. So, and then on the sleeve, I put believe. Because you have to believe in that things will be better. That's why I positioned the way everything is. So it's more of a, it's a personal brand, you know, motivation to encourage people. You know, something that has something you know, substance, you know? Yeah, man. No, 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 you still got... I've got one more question from the audience. Please, don't you, all of you lot sit there all quiet, just sipping and drinking, looking all beautiful and not telling me nothing. I'll pick you by name. Please ask Frank a question. Please, somebody. <laughs> He's burning up. Hurry up. <laughs> the goal is... I'll lift, lift up the mic, Frank. I would love to at some point be able to set up something for the same kids that I'm reaching out to. You know, give them like a, an alternative. If we could set up like a, a I would love to set up a centre, maybe offer some kind of courses, you know, like where they can learn more about life, you know, because the curriculum is very limited. So. My goal is to try and, if we can, somehow, I don't know how, we could put like, a, you know, like, like the, um, I call it rehab from the streets. Maybe make it as like a, a part of the curriculum in the school that they can learn. So before you even get into that game, you're learning about things, that, the impacts of these things have in life. Because in sociology, you learn about the infrastructure of the family, but these things actually play a part in the family as well. So maybe we can just push for that and then... Who knows? I, I just want to be part of the solution. That's my goal here now. I've done... That, that deserves a nice clap. But I, I like want that. to be part of the yeah, solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Thank you, Janelle Rayburn, over there for the question. Easy. In the audience, I'm going to call you up my name. People's in the house. Frank, love you, bro. Always, bro. Can't talk to you all day, though. I'm going to get someone else in the seat. Oh, Have you got any questions you want to ask anyone? For. I just like it's. You got you look at you look who's in the room, you know. There's people in the room. Like, <laughs> just, it's just lovely. It's, it's well, lovely. not everyone. People leaving the room. It's like, just lovely to be here, you know, like and just to see the people engage and you know, like if there is, I'll I'll say this now, like you may not know me, but 
you know how to get hold of me. If I can help you in any assistance with the kids nice, and all nice, that, nice. I'm here for everybody. Nice. Because I get to the kids, you don't understand? You have to you don't have to go on the road. I've been there for you, so I can come and help you. Do you understand? That's that's what I can do for you. Nice. Love that, love that, love that. Big Frank, so no days off, aka Real Focus Podcast. Amen. Come on, live talks, 50th episode. Good. Come on, we have to do we'll do love one soon when you go. Apparel will be out next uh, next month. I'll have loads of stuff so people. Real Focus know. Apparel will be out. What, what month is that? Yeah. By date, please. It's September. September. We'll be here. Yeah? Different colours and hoodies and Lovely. You'll have, have Let's bring you back up more. We'll, anyway, we'll talk about that. We'll, 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 yeah, love that. I want some colours, I want all the colours. Please. Amen. Amen. Let's cheers. No alcohol. No alcohol. <laughs> Thank you. This is one of my favourite singing artists that I had on the show. He's an amazing guy. He's got a real talent. He comes from a different era as far as I'm concerned. He's like a lot of people that I know, like yourself, Darren, Thomas, even you, um, Frank, a new chance. Gentlemen, even you as well, Warren. Gentleman kind of thing. He's like a real gent, you know, from the heart out. You'll hear it through his music and the way he talks to you. Without further or more, I'll give you Ivan Moore. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to say um, congratulations on 50. Continue to multiply. <laughs> See a frown all year round. Uh, she's safe and sound. Never wants more than what she has. So her glass is never half full. And best of all, best of all, best of all, yo. She's single Yeah, 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 yeah She's single and scream Such a rarity The essence of beauty Oh, yeah, no, no, no living dream to me Me shine, and it ain't no lie now. I just want the chance to 
So, so I'm going to put it to you like this. This is a song I wrote called um, I Want to Love You. Back at you. Once we realize this song, song's over 10 years old. Oh, Lord. Life. out there, I feel the same, my heart is calling you, I've waited for too long, that's why I've taken time, to put pen to paper, and write this song, and yes I did, ooh I'm waiting patiently, Come to me without realizing it's me who needs to come to you. And then I said, I know you ain't in pain. All the patience in the world, <laughs> but now it's time. I got to tell you, got to tell you Since I want to love you Oh yes I do I want to love you Oh yes I do of this and you and I will define true happiness and words will describe how I feel no if it's a dream or if it's real so sweet as the day I meet you babe I finally get my chance to be your man oh yes I wanna love you babe Yes, do. So I won't love you. No, no, no. 
girl, you wanna love me too. Thank you. I'm gonna leave you guys with this one. A little mashup to my favorite honest. That's right, big love to life taunt. To Iowa family. To the brothers and the sisters in the all the young town. Who said soul music's dead? And then we say, Sugar, Sugar, uh, uh, uh. Sugar, oh, oh, oh. I said, Give to me, I give me something, I got brown sugar. Let me tell you about this girl Maybe you should I met her fit And her name's Brown So we've been making love constantly That's why my eyes are a shade A blood burgundy The way that we kiss is unlike any other way That I would kiss the wound I kiss the wound I kiss the wound I kiss the Brown shirt, babe I guess high of love Don't hop ahead Sugar I want some of your brown sugar, sugar. Ow, ow, good God. I want some of your brown sugar, sugar. I said, give to me. Give me some of your brown sugar, baby. Oh, sugar, when you're close to me. You let me right down to my knees. I wouldn't have you let me hear that. Sweet like honey when it comes to me Skits, camera, up with the cocoa eyes Even got the big sister by the name of Chocolate Tide Brown sugar, baby I get tired of your love, but don't know how to behave Sugar I want some of your brown sugar Sugar oh, 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 oh. I want some of your brown sugar, baby I kind of put a little Maxwell up in the mix like this. I do like this. I guess it never was the way I thought it was. I say the soul just because you never came to love. Yes, it wasn't so Against the stamp of the storm of gold The sister never dig my flow No, you never dig my flow Good God But you're still welcome Goodbye, baby, but you're welcome to me Welcome, lady. Anytime you want, I'll always be free. Anytime you want some of this here, baby, you're the welcome, baby, and you're welcome to me. Make yourself at home, cause you're welcome. Six in the morning, everything and nothing. Six in the eve, everything is still the same, you know, it's still the same. Oh, wish I knew. I just wish that you knew That I really love you Deep like a mother loves a child uh, Like water, hot, run wild Ooh, Such a most sophisticated style I check my dictionary But then to bring it back here Go with the bound, don't the bound, but I'm um, Brown sugar, babe, brown sugar, babe, I do the brown, the the story like this. Good God, get down, then I said. Now that's how the stuff goes. Brown sugar got my open, now I want some more. I don't get down with no menage to try, but I think in his soul, hope my people don't mind. Stick out my tongue and I'm ready to hit this way, the 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 way
Strong, good God. Thank you. My name is Benive Moore. It's been a pleasure. Peace, love, longevity, and all you do. Thank you. Appreciate it. The sweet sounds of the Ivor Moore. Listen, the hairs in the back of my neck were standing up. You already know what time it is. You real recognize real. Please let them know your socials, cuz. Please. Thank you very much once again. Um, you can catch me on Instagram at Ivan Moore Profound. That's I V A N M O R E. One word, profound. Ivan Moore, one more time. Ivan Moore, listen. Yeah, I want to welcome to the hot seat. Excuse me, eating parties and that. It's a celebration, so it is what it is. <laughs> Darren, aka the fragrance Don. My G. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Love, bro. Just want um, to say congratulations on your 50th episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Many more to come. Yeah. 500 plus. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank yes. you so much. No um, problem. Yeah, we're getting, we're going in here. Enjoying yeah. myself very much. Of course. Last interview is in trouble. <laughs> trouble, trouble, trouble. You don't know that anyway. Don't worry about that. Yeah, boom. Darren, yes. you're a lovely person. I've known you for a very long time. We live yeah. in the same area. But mm. I was... Pleasantly surprised when I saw your presence on YouTube. Yes. And I saw the way you were delivering your videos yeah, and what you were yeah. delivering your videos about as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. Please yeah. explain to everyone at home and in the studio exactly what's, what's what about your channel, please. Sir. So I've always collected fragrances from young and I've always been interested in them. And then a few years ago, I saw that there's a big community of people that review them and tell people which ones to try and buy or whatever. So... I was thinking about it and I thought, oh, that's quite interesting. And then someone said, oh, you should do it. You're always joking and laughing. You've got personality. But I was like, nah, I'm quite shy normally, you know. But um, I thought, chat, just give it a try. I didn't see. So, um, yeah, I started on Instagram just showing ones that I had and then started just kind of reviewing them. And then I've created the channel and then created a logo. Oh, go on. Hey, careful, careful. You never got now. me in the way. I'll just do so hard. Don't want to get your life. Yeah, no, I'm good. Tracky, talks, tracky, you, you know what I mean? I'm going to get changed. I'm going to get changed next one. I'm going to get changed, guys. For the next one, watch me. Thank you for reminding me. Gandhi. And um, yeah, so I just thought, oh, I don't know, I need to come up with a name and what to do. And then a colleague helped me with the name. And then, yeah, I just launched the channel. And then just from there, we've been reviewing them. And friends and family been, you know, looking and watching and following. And it just kind of built from there, really. Mm. Yeah. Where did you get your love like I'm gonna I'm gonna put something out there right so mm. as a young man mm. I remember people out here helped me as well when I was young I remember um Fahrenheit oh yeah like oh. Certain Fahrenheit and um yeah, course yeah. and there's only yeah. certain aftershave <laughs> you knew but you knew them and and you just knew certain smells you just knew innit yeah, yeah but then well you when you hear this guy he's gonna tell you about fragrances I think you've got some samples <coughs> for everyone as well I hope yes I have fantastic yes. you got some samples for everyone yeah. well, well for some people the, the good people the people that will be on the camera not you <laughs> anyway, um, but the way you describe fragrances, like I was going to get back yeah. to that, the, 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 it, it, please, you, you, do, you do it best. You do it best. So it's just like every fragrance is there's different for different seasons, different um, autumn, winter and summer. Because people are like, oh, you only need one or you need two or five maximum, which really you do. You don't need hundreds like I have. But, um, you know, there's ones that are winter, they tend to have more darker uh, notes, chocolate or... Um, patchouli and that kind of stuff and then summer ones will have like more aquatic like kind of um, sea notes and stuff like that you see when you're talking yeah mm -hmm. see we had Big Frank on before right and yeah. you're another like black man like me yeah, you're talking, yeah, yeah. They both you talk very eloquently well, I, try, talking, I try I try you do it and both you're very humble as well with it as well but I've never thought of 
um, fragrances in those terminologies like yeah, yeah, C yeah. notes and chocolate and yeah. so it smells good or don't smoke like not, not yeah. you know like very just like of but go on please it. educate us and then right? summertime you have more citruses so lemon mandarin those kind of notes so they just combine them all together to make a fragrance and that's what kind of what people are into and the smells and some of the smells take you back like you said Fahrenheit that takes me back to when I yeah. was young yeah. and what I was going through what happened at that yeah. time so that's where the love came from it as well every time I have a fragrance or I try a new one or an old one mm. there's always an association with what happened back then okay that know, can so be a problem sometimes eh? You can, you can do, but you know, you just try to remember that happy time. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, know, but, it can remind um, you of someone. Yeah, of course, it could be that, but um, yeah. That's what fragrances do as well, they remind yeah, definitely, you of times, definitely. places and people. Yeah. Come on, yeah. what, what about this quote for um, fragrances being like aphrodisiacs or... Yeah. Or, Repellents, yeah, or um, whatever, 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 whatever else connotation, like literally, you know. Yeah, there is a but there is a lot. There's a, I forgot the company's name, but they make fragrances with um, fernomes. Fernomes. Yeah, which is an aphrodisiac made synthetically that it's got from different people's bodies. They have different sweat. And they done a test. They had like these five, you know, good-looking oh, guys. Seriously, wait, wait, you're making they're making people. They're giving. They're making a perfume. Yeah, that has sweat. pheromones. That oh, are they comes from, are yeah, they? that comes from people's bodies and odors and stuff yeah, like that, and that has some sort of kind of chemical attraction in it, kind of reaction. Okay, see, I understand it. Like, mm. how can I say, like, in a sense, where back in the day, before the deodorants and all that other stuff, yeah, people yeah. be out on the plane and their mum would stink in it. Yeah. Everyone would stink, but <laughs> they'd have their own distinctive yeah, smell. Of course, and some of those yeah. smells would turn people on, or they'll know, uh, like, that's right. Oh, like, for one of the phrases, they'd be like, you smell like a man. Yeah, I've heard that phrase before. Oh, you smell yeah. like a man. Do you know what I mean? Yes, but it's not, not necessarily always a good thing. But you got. That's right. So I understand it's like that. Yeah, and there's this new thing that they're doing. I see on TikTok or one of the things that that women are using their own scent. Of their scent. <laughs> it's called vaping. What? What? Vabbing. What? <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> from where? Yeah, from where? <laughs> from downstairs. <laughs> Talk to us. Break that down for us. What's oh, it called? Vaping. Like, vaping. Vaping. Yeah. So, so what's that? It's a TikTok thing. So women. It's nasty. It's, that is that's nasty. Women place their fingers. <laughs> and then they dab on there. Seriously? And they go around and that's yeah. meant to make a and, man And it, it, get... it attracts bare man. Yeah. Yes. Apparently. That's the new craze. <laughs> Bit nasty, man. I haven't... I can't know. No, myself, just but... as we're talking about fragrances, I thought... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a bad thing, actually. Yeah. You don't heard about that. Has anyone else got anything like... Vabbing. Yeah, 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 yeah crazy, fragrance, yeah. crazy stuff. Man. Yeah, bit, 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 bit uh, different, but um, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's interesting. It, yeah, because you know, it's like, interesting. It's interesting because it's like on some on some mm. nature vibe, mm. like the fact that that even works. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys hear? Like, would any of the ladies in the audience vab? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, would any of the gentlemen in the audience? What do you like, like the think, woman to vab? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? Though? Yeah, what do you vab, vab? Like put their kidney in here. Well, that's it. <laughs> 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 that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit. It's a bit of a. What, so what, what would you say about um, the difference of buying like express guys in the back? Hello, mm -hmm. you stay with us. Um, expensive fragrances to just regular fragrances, but getting like the bang for your buck, that kind of thing, like yeah. a dude, or I don't know. Yeah, like there's, there's a lot of fragrances that are very expensive. Um, one I smoked the other day, yeah, Amwaj. What's that? Amwaj. What, what is it called? Amwaj. That's the name Amwaj. of the house. Yeah, it's the name of the house. And they've got one called Reflection 45, and that's 500 pounds. For what? For just a 100 mil bottle. <laughs> it's like, what? What? You can fly to Dubai with that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've got fragrances. I'm a ward, yeah. I'm a ward, yeah. I'm a yeah. I've got fragrances that cost thirty pound and smell just as good and yeah. last just as long. Yeah. So it just depends on people's budgets. But the luxury ones do tend to use more I I ingredients that are naturally grown and not much synthetic. So they okay. do potentially last longer and do smell longer. But then you know you pay you pay for your butt. But there's a lot of cheap fragrances that. Last long time and that been around like Fizzachi blue jeans, that kind yeah. of stuff there. Yeah. Cool water. Mm. Cool water, I don't yeah. like cool water. Someone brought yeah. cool water. Yeah. It the smells alright, but you, it's like you remembering yeah. it's that remembrance thing. Yeah. I remember because yeah. it was only a few rounds. And that's why I don't like it, because it reminds me of something. Oh, it's a nice yeah. fragrance, yeah. but it just yeah. reminds me of something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That yeah. and there's oh, another oh, one. Oh god bless me. What now? I've watched that there's another one just, just does my nut. 
Yeah. John Paul Gaultier, the old one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, it was just, it just raped good. your nose. Yeah, like, if someone yeah, had on it, it was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, it could yeah. just smell it. <laughs> no, seriously, it was horrible. Yeah. The old one just used to get you, like. Yeah. But they got, like, they got a formula. Like, they very used subtle. To, they use certain notes that are just sweet and everyone would like and it just becomes popular and, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, but the expensive ones are nice, but there are cheap ones that you can oh, get yeah. that yeah. smell just as good. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm sweating hard, mate. It's the alcohol. It's party time. 50th. Um, so, hmm. Let's go to our questions over here. Cause, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, 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 Unless you've got more to work, Fergus. Let's go to questions over here. It's my safety question. Uh, you got any over there for us? No, I gave him my question. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah, yeah, the time. Yeah, the babbin. The babbin and babbin and babbin. Well, you know, Don't get um, You use food mm-hmm. to inspire you. What's your favourite food? Probably jerk chicken. <laughs> would, would, uh, would you ever make a jerk chicken fragrance? Probably not. I don't know if you really want to smell. I, well, nah. So how do you decide not. the difference of um, when you're gonna actually turn a food into a fragrance? What makes you say, oh, do you know what? this food could be a fragrance? It uh, depends on what's popular. I reckon. Like there's a one called uh, Spice Bomb Extreme, which has got thyme, nutmeg, those kind of ingredients you have in the kitchen. Yeah. And, you know, if you smell them individually, you'd think, nah, I wouldn't want to smell my nutmeg. But when they combine them together with together, vanilla, that's what I'm yeah, 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 it kind of yeah, smells yeah. nice. So, yeah, 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 but there are a lot of foody-type fragrances, a few, but, yeah, yeah don't know, jerk chicken, nah, probably not. Nah, <laughs> you think you could make it taste, uh, smell chocolate nice? Chocolate, you know chocolate. What I mean? Jerk chicken yeah. with what, vanilla? Yeah, a little vanilla, you know, a little mac and cheese. <laughs> a little mac and cheese, you know what I mean? <laughs> a little planting. <laughs> planting would be good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's a planting good one. fragrance. Planting fragrance, yeah, that's true. So, my question is now. What's the best advice you've ever been given? Hold on, before we do that, put a pause. Yeah. On YouTube, what's your channel called? Uh, the Fragrance Don. The Fragrance Don. Please yeah. check out the Fragrance Don yep. on Insta on YouTube. Yeah. Yep. Insta the same. Insta the same and TikTok. Doing TikTok's the TikTok. same. Yeah, TikTok. I'm not just saying it because he's sitting in front of me because I know him. This yeah, guy knows yeah. about smells and perfumes and fragrances. Yeah. He'll break it down for you so you know. Just to say that. Yeah. And now I'll ask you the question I want to ask you. Okay, I'll take a bite of this delicious donut. <laughs> you didn't offer me one, but sorry. <laughs> you can have some cake. No one oh, don't have no donuts. Yeah, yeah. Marley's lucky she got some. But you have this cake over there. You have some cake. <laughs> What's the best advice you've ever been given? Um. Just like my grandma always said to me one thing, buy what you need and not what you want. Mm. <laughs> nice. So she's like, you need mint, but you want trainers? Mm. Buy mint. <laughs> so I'm always saying that to my youngest nephews and whatever. Buy mm. what you need, not what you want. Buy what so, you need, not what you want. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably that. What's the worst advice you've ever been given? Um, worse, probably, um, worse, 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 um, yeah. oh, cheers, worst advice is, don't, don't leave, uh, but maybe, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, probably, probably not to stay in school, probably. Probably not to stay in school, school and have and have an education. Someone once told me you don't need GCSEs and all of that kind of stuff. That's what someone told me, but I think that was probably the worst advice. Education is the fruit of life. You need that. So yeah, I would say that's that's probably the worst. The worst yeah. at the time. I thought, oh yeah, yeah, maybe he's right. You know, so, you need school like GCSE. Was rubbish. Mm. But as you get older, you realise you need that. You need that definitely. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, just hopefully, I want to try and create my own fragrance. That's what I'm working How on. would you do that? How, that's interesting. Well, they have like perfume schools you can go to. There's some in France, some in the UK. A perfume school? Yeah, where you go. Like, no, this. I you put the mic up a bit. I can't hear you very good. Say again? I assumed you already had these fragrances. No, 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 no. It takes a bit more work than just, <laughs> What's it going? just collecting some. You've got to do a bit of work, like, you know. <laughs> no, 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 you look like the kind of guy that would. You know, yeah, well, eventually, <laughs> eventually. So, um, yeah, that's my plan. I'm planning to do some courses. Um, learning how to, you know, blend them together and stuff like that. Mm. And then I want to even try them at home because you can buy the oils yourself, buy alcohol and just kind of experiment. So and then it, maybe like launch my own, probably. Go on. Is it like chemistry? Go on, go on. No, they all have a different companies. I just oh. got, I brought a load. Yeah. So it would be like, would you study like 
You have to study chemistry. That's what I was going to ask you. You have to yeah. study chemistry. That's yeah, exactly to, go, what I was to, to be a proper perfumer, they yeah. study chemistry yeah. and chemical engineering. Mm. So it's quite, quite deep. But a lot of people just learn as they go along and just kind of concoct it. So I'll, I'll definitely get some education in it. Yeah. And then I'm going to just try and create my own and then name it something and try and sell it. I'll bring it to you, obviously, to test it out. You know? Yeah, mate, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. I don't want the vagin nice. Yeah. Vagin no, 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 no. We ain't doing no vabbing. Yeah. No, 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 no vabbing. Don't put none of the ingredients in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's, what, that's what my plan. What do you mean don't really? put none of the ingredients in you? No, because, all right, there's a film. I watched a film. You've seen a film called Perfume. Mm. Which one? A film called Perfume. Yes, a, 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 a story, tale of yeah. murder or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm a film buff, yeah. you know that really. So yeah, I've they get the essence of women. Like it was no good until yeah. they get essence of women, and that's where the proper smell comes from. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's serious. So yeah. once that essence stuff, but I don't want another essence stuff. Much that, how much of that perfume have you had in your lifetime? Huh? I said, how much of that perfume have you had in your lifetime? I don't know. <laughs> there could be some in this freaking donut for all I'm <laughs> But what you don't know can't kill you. <laughs> no. 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 Have you got any questions from me? Anyone over there? Um, there this guy's behind the camera. I want you not to ask some of these guys behind the camera some questions, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We've got one more hour still. Yeah, I want you to ask some questions. We've got the artist coming out and performing. I hope you love voice warming up and everything. You got a question? Bust it. Probably. <laughs> I thought you said what's the worst yeah. thing you smoked. <laughs> you said smoke. Sorry. There's one called Encre Noir, and everyone said that's the greatest one. Because I've watched other YouTubers, and, and I've got a lot of fragrances that they recommended, and I smell it, and it just smelled awful. It just, it's got vevetar, and it's quite earthy. <laughs> like dirt. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's the Best one. The newest one I like is Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad. Louis That's Vuitton Ombre Nomad? Nomad yeah. So, 285 pounds though. 285? Yeah. Let, let, let me ask a general question mm -hmm. to the ladies and the gentlemen in the audience. Yeah. Have you ever smelled someone and that smells really, like the gentleman first, woman smell, it's just like got you, like it's just it's a wrap. Or women, the same question as well. Anyone feel free to just open your mouth and answer a question. You, you change direction when you smell cool waters, yeah? <laughs> Not for you. Yeah. No? Tom? No? Nothing? <laughs> I'll leave you. Darren? How much do you spend on aftershaves? It depends. I'm always looking for a bargain, though. Like, I've got one with me that costs 250 but I paid... Can we see the aftershaves? Yeah. No, no, no. Let me, let Darren. me finish. <laughs> Darren, can we see them, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we pass the bag that's on the back of the chair, please? Um... Yeah, it cost two hundred and fifty, but I didn't pay that. I you paid. Um, I paid less. I paid out over a hundred. Yo, you gotta just look online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look online. Wait for Black Friday. Yeah. You know what I mean? You gotta just do all of that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Oh, that one. Oh. Yeah, this one here, two hundred and fifty pounds. Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's got it's got apple, lavender, bergamot. Yeah, yeah it's very. Yeah, the bottle's very heavy. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's luxurious. They're a luxurious brand. Fifty. You like it, now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, fragrance does smell different on different people, actually. Yeah, it does smell different on different people. Timber. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cattle <laughs> <laughs> sprays. Oh, it's burning. Cattle sprays. Oh, that's very nice. Easy. That was a good 30 quid fragrance. Yeah, I mean. I'm doing a review on it. <laughs> 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 this one is very good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'll see anyway. You spray it on your hand, you'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, it is, it is really nice. 250. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the lid is waiting as well. Where's the bowl? 
Stolen. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just behind you. <laughs> you shouldn't have told him the price. You know what I mean? But when it gets right, back to you. Don't the guy's thing, man. What do you know? <laughs> when it gets back to you. That's all right, man. Well, that one was $10. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that a different thing? It's my personal one, like, you know? <laughs> no, do you know what? Yeah, they yeah, you. Yeah. I can, do you know what? They, I can smell it from here, so yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's very strong. Very strong. So? Yeah, very strong. Would you say it's worth, would you say it's worth investing in that? As a young man coming up, because I've got my son sitting over here, right? Yeah. He likes to use my aftershaves. My okay. brother's sitting over in the back. He, he could testify to... Yeah. Uh, like, he'd have an aftershave, mm. and all of a sudden, he ain't got an aftershave. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I swear never use that much. Yeah. And the same vice versa, because we live in the same house with yeah. brothers, you know what I'm saying? Of course, love of you, course. bro. <laughs> no, no, love you too, sir. But, um, yeah, so, um, advice for, uh, like, this young man, and, mm. and for anyone buying aftershaves, mm -hmm. good value for money, bang for your buck. Yeah. And stuff that does stuff. You know, like, I want, I've had an aftershave, I think, it's intense by Christian Dior. Okay. Every time I wore that, people yeah. were like, oh, what's that? Yeah. What's that smell? But I was like, don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, that was one that got people doing that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Advice yeah. for something that I you think get bang for your butt, but it's good. I mean, it's large. yeah. Mm. That's a good one. I got this, I got this look, 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 look. Wait, wait. What's look that? at that. Here's what's one that? I made earlier. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. Like, um, my mate gave me this. My mate just left oh. gave me this. But I don't know what it is. But it, oh, it? it came in a four pack. I swear it was not planted. Where's the camera? It wasn't planted. It was just in my pocket. I was trying to smell nice. Tom oh, Ford. Tom Ford's got good ones. Tom yeah, Ford's Tom Ford nice. Tom, Ford. Tom Ford's yeah. nice. Tom Ford's oh, nice. That's nice. Hermes. Like that. Hermes has got some. Yeah. Like Hermes not... has got a really good one. <laughs> that's nice. Wait, wait. I'm not giving this to these fucking men. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be laughing there. <laughs> cool. Um, yes. Uh, oh, no. Uh, it's all right. You see that fragrance that you have Yeah. Yeah. No, it's per oh, Puffham's nice. Damali, that one. Oh, that was Damali? Yeah, Puffham's Damali is called. Layton. <laughs> but, um, like, you see like all young kids because the thing is you see young kids they kind of mm. gravitate to this you know what, what's what's trending and what's yeah, the mm, best yeah. thing so of if it's course. 250 they're thinking oh I need to get that yeah of you course, so of course. what would be an alternative for them to have to get a tester. To, to get a tester. Hey, man, that's what we used to do. They might, they might want to get it, but it might be out of everyone's budget. Yeah, no, but there's cheap alternatives. Like even Calvin Klein. Say that's as good as that, though. Yeah, Calvin Klein CK Shock. £20. CK Shock? Yeah, it's a tobacco fragrance. And it's one of the last, longest last. Yeah, it's got tobacco. This is what I'm saying. Listen, when you yeah. talk to my man about fragrances, it's like it's a different <laughs> mindset. Like you, wait, it will tell you something's in there that you never thought of a mind yeah. to think of. But yeah, it's got like tobacco. So there are a lot, a lot of cheap fragrances you can get that you can wear and they're still. So anyone tell me like, I want a fragrance. I don't know what one. First thing I say, what's your budget? They say 20 pounds. I say, okay, you get this one. They say 30 pounds. I say this one. They say 50 to 80. But they haven't got ones in that range. Yeah, there is, there is, there is, there is. I've got some more. I'll spray after. That's cheaper, and then you can you can gauge a kind of difference. When you say no, what you that about? What do you say it done a lot, Mister Frank? What do you mean it done a lot? The smells that it's got you that much. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Let's have a butchers, please. Don't want the other butchers. What's it called? I'm not going to spray it. I've already Layton. sprayed it, darling. I've already yeah, sprayed Layton. it. Layton. I've already sprayed it. What's it called? Layton. Layton. By Parfums de Mali. Lovely. Yeah. Yes. Oh, pass it. Oh, I don't know. You can even. I thought you were going to tell me. Come on, we're losing time. Oh, Are you, <laughs> you paying? Come pay. on. I can't tell you nothing. Mind you. Mind you. Know you. The <laughs> yeah, spray, the spray, the spray. You must take a little spray. No, I'm already sprayed. Are you sprayed already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you got on the. Uh, the new jumper got you. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I try to put it in his pocket, you know? Yeah. <laughs> He's not called a wizard for no reason, mate. <laughs> <laughs> now you yeah. see it, now you don't. Now nah, you don't. Yeah. Just make sure there's something still left in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. But there are a lot of niche houses like Mansera that are say 80 to 100 pounds and they are really good quality. When you say niche houses, what do you mean? Just to so say niche is like more Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Um, uh, apart from the Mali, those kind of houses that are like expensive, and the designers is like Savage, Calvin Klein, all of those kind of ones. So um, a lot of people try and gravitate towards a niche, but they're a lot expensive. What do you think you know? of them boots? Is that 
I, I weren't a big fan of Oud in the beginning, but as I've smelt so many now, I've kind of grown to kind of like Oud now. There are some, yeah. Tom Ford Cherry. I had an Oud version of it. Yeah. I was eating Yeah, some of them are very edible. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Angels kind of low-key. Not, not a lot of men know about angels. Tia Mugla, yeah, that's What? Who? Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone yeah, knows that one. Yeah, 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 A lot of people yeah. don't really know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. How do you feel about, you know, like in Lidl, they do... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's a good thing because some people can't afford these big prices. So, and I looked online, you cannot um, trademark a fragrance, so people can copy it. Wow. You can't trade no, you you bust can't, up. No, you, you can't, can't trademark, trademark a fragrance. You can't, you can't trademark. So if I go outside, like, like if it was a drink, I got Coca Cola, you got Coca Cola, yeah. we both got Coca Cola, yeah. Iowa Cola, yeah, and it's Coca Cola. Yeah. It's the same thing. And some people have the set. Sorry. Yeah, it's not tangible. It's just notes of whatever. You can't really trademark an orange or a grapefruit or just the oils. But I find that, you know the woods, they, yeah. they last longer than the spring. Yeah, spring. definitely. And then yeah. I think because I used a couple of them and did, like the Sauvage wood mm. and I got mm. the Sauvage spring. Yeah, yeah. But it, I think it's, it's more yeah. heavy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely more That's animalic. Bit, it's, yeah. it's very yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, those little ones. I smelt a few. So a lady brought them to work, and they're quite. Not, even pound shops got some. Yeah, they, yeah, they got King Million, which is a uh, one million. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah for a pound. All the chemists yeah. are the Yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Hold on a minute. Yeah. So you're telling me yeah. that for the same price, whatever them that go by yeah. one million fragrance sells it. Yeah, you can buy it in thing, and it's the same fragrance. Yeah, I need to do a video because people, are, oh, why did that pan shop ones? I thought, oh, I'll get around to it. But yeah, Lido as well. Lido yeah. wants to smell really Lidl. good. Lido and another uh, Zara. Take notes, huh? Zara do a lot of yeah, yeah. It's expensive, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What well, is paid is serious? That's the alternative. Was, you know, like I yeah. Before. You know, some people. No, definitely not. And yeah. if they can't afford 250, they're going to look for the means to get yeah. 250 to get it. Yeah, of but course. You're showing them that this smells just exactly the, the same, same. So yeah. you don't have to go and No, the shops definitely not. Definitely not. Mean? True. Definitely not. And Zara, they clone quite a lot of them as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of the high end ones, and they smell really good. Yeah. Some, and they last, some of them last even long, and their fragrance is like 22 pounds, 15, 10 pounds. So, yeah, definitely check out Zara. Yes. No, 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 definitely not. So definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah, you keep them out yeah, for later on when you've got to go out. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, you can wear them from all occasions, you know, definitely. But I'll bring all of them, it's, most of them into the office and get people to smell them and get reactions. So yeah, that's how I get my kind of feedback from everyone kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Celebrations, a celebration. Huh? Yeah, I'm definitely going to get into that. So yeah, definitely oh, going to so get into right, that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would. I would. No, so, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I already That's know. Stuff. That's why you're here right now. Talking <laughs> on the ground floor before you get to the fucking top floor. So you know me now, you know what I mean? Like, when you speak, you have a... Say again? Easy, yeah. what's that then? Yeah. Fall into the party. Come come, take a seat. When you when you speak, you have such a, a great energy. Yeah, yeah. Like, because yeah, you, you're it. passionate about yeah, what you're definitely, talking about. Definitely. When you start talking about oranges and this and then yeah. start, not even just study, <laughs> not just because check out his channel, seriously. Like, he's, yeah, when, yeah. when you see him, when he's talking about the, the way you describe stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. The animation, the passion you have in it, it's, yeah. it's lovely. It, it engrosses me as well. It makes me want to yeah, learn more yeah, as well. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I love it. From from young, my mum had perfume. That's where I first started. I think opium and Wyatt, like. 80s and I'm like, oh, um, it Avon so good. Little, yeah, little Avon, yeah, 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 all of those. And then for Christmas, my uncle bought me you and Brute, you know, the green one. That's I remember like, Brute. That was I remember Brute. I remember Brute. Yeah, that was my first. What was that other bloody thing? Old they? Spice. Old Spice. It was Brute. Yeah. Like, no, I sprayed on my armpit. It burned, burned my <laughs> ass one time, boy. What did you say, Frank? They were punishments. They were punishments. <laughs> yeah, they weren't real aftershaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, yeah. weren't aftershaves. Put it on the wrong time. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Are you lying? That's how you look. You used to shit. The shit used to smell so bad. You want to use old spice? Hey, <laughs> not even air freshener. You did aftershave for fuck's sake. Wow, is it? <laughs> Damn.
Have you got any yeah. questions you want to ask? I've got questions here, but got, we've got some other artists to come on and another yeah, guest. So to it. I want you to, any questions you want to ask me and on the audience, the voice behind the camera or the wizard, yeah, feel free. No, no, any questions you want to ask? Anything? Um, like, you got a man on it, or I could ask you another question from the cards if you like. So. <laughs> Ask him if he wants to eat. Ask him. No, 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 go ahead. So, it's only fair. It's only what's right. your goal in the next year oh, or know. so on the channel? All right, fuck that. We're going to ask questions. <laughs> right, so, so, no, no, I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. What's, ask question again. So, what's your next goal for the next year for the channel? For the um, channel? Yeah. Uh, diversify. Okay. Change up what's going on. Like, I feel yeah. like Live Talks, we're going to take a little break on Live Talks. Okay. Moving in another direction. Uh -huh. There's so many different angles to look yeah, at. When yeah, you spoke yeah. to the, the guy before you, yeah, yeah. Uh, Real Focus Podcast, yeah. Yeah. you've got the voice behind the camera, mm -hmm. you've got the wizard as well, myself, and other people. Yeah. There's a lot of other people around us. Yeah. With some, my yeah. brother over there, there's a lot of, there's so many ideas. There's so much stuff yeah. bubbling, like cooking in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. There's so much stuff cooking in the kitchen. I don't know, the fact that the platform's here now, yeah. it's about yeah. the consistency, keep going, mm -hmm. just just keep doing what we're doing and just like yeah. involving everyone that we love and just being real, like like I'm a dude, you're a dude, didn't of it? Of course. Yeah. Your, your page right now has got yeah. whatever amount of views on it. It's like yeah, a couple yeah. hundred, mine's yeah. got, some of them's got thousands. Yeah. Get, let's yeah. get yours to thousands, yeah, get mine yeah, a bit more, whatever, and still just keep fucking around in life because it's not yeah. about the numbers, it's about how you, yeah. it, how yeah, you interact with people, yeah. do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Engage with everyone. Yeah, so I want to yeah. interact with people. I want to, interact enjoy yeah. share like frank over there so no days off yeah. aka real focus podcast yeah. teach people how to be better and different yeah. we've got south coming in a minute yeah. um like most of my guests in here lovely hearts like yourself yeah. Yeah. help people with stuff and be cool enjoy this kid over here enjoy my brother over there just enjoy the family do you know what i mean yeah. take it easy yeah. have some laughs with this one over here yeah. tell this fucker <laughs> to put his feet up because he works way too fucking hard really but yeah in the next five years <laughs> find a way to facilitate just you yeah. know yeah. Tranquility and yeah. also a place to just be me in it because I'm a yeah. show off in it. I'm a narcissist. <laughs> I am what I am. But I like I like what I do and I like people yeah. in it. I love course, people. So course, yeah. to myself, working with people close closer than I am yeah. right now yeah. and helping people in it. Yeah, totally, totally. So yeah, that's what I really want to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. I like yeah. that. Love you, love you. Thank you, thank you. Love you all. Love you all. So come up to the stage, Big Shani, Big Shani. Yo, what I'm to you, look. Give it up. Excuse me. I think they're forgetting where they are. It's Live Talks, 50th episode. You better recognize. Guys, honey, bust it up, bust it up. Give it to you. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everyone. Yes, Ayo. It's the 50th, yeah? The 50th episode. I'm glad to be a part of it, man. I'm glad to have even had the chance to be on the show. But yes, my name is Shani. I am an R&B soul singer, songwriter. And I'm just here to bring that vibe. So let's go, my brother. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants to be famous. Yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to be famous. Check me out. Everybody wants to make it. Everybody wants to get somewhere Everybody wants attention Want you to know that they're standing right there So many stars, they just want to be up there with them So they can shine bright and show the world how they fit in They want the name and the lights Wanna be on your flash screen They wanna sign autographs all the important things Everybody wants to be famous Yeah, yeah Everybody wants to be famous Anyway, anyhow Ain't worry about who they stepping on Just as long as they reach the top They don't want to die nameless They just want to be famous Yeah, yeah Wanna be famous Whoa Famous They just wanna be famous Famous They just wanna be famous Famous 
famous. Yeah. That's the intro right there. Cool, thank you, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that one. Right, this next song I'm gonna sing, I think if I'm correct, should be Keba, which is one of my latest singles that I've got out. Keba, K-E-B-A, which in my language, which is Congolese Lingala. It means to be careful, right? So it's like an Afrobeat type of vibe, so just enjoy the, the music, man. Let's go. Let's go. Keba. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. care about, care about with my love, care about with my heart, care about with my soul. Yeah, care about with your love, care about with your heart, care about with your soul. Check me out. Kebananga, na kebana yo Taking all of my love when I give it to ya Thank the Lord up above just for being with ya Na koko kate Tell me that I can Say that I'm your man Just put me in your plans forever Fly away with me Be my destiny Maybe then you'll see We were meant to be Care about, care about with my love Care about with my heart Care about with my soul yeah. Care about with your love Care about with your heart Care about with your soul yeah. Girl, I wanna wine you and dine you and take you home And when we're switching positions both sides, I'ma make you moan Tell me everything that's on your mind, cause I need to know Cause I never had nobody like you, now I'm ready to go Mama Lobaka Son, you'll fall in love Supposed to be Care about, care about with my love Care about with my heart Care about with my soul Care about with your love Care about with your heart Care about with your soul Care about with your soul Care about with your soul Taking all of my love when I give it to you Just tell me that I can Just put me in your place forever Mama Lobaka Son, you'll fall in love your love oh. hey that's keba yeah cool let's go last joint another single of mine you can find all of these on spotify just type in shani c-h-a-n-y and you'll find it on youtube you'll find it on spotify i am prominent on the net so um, yeah, let's go. This one's called Oh Mama, just to vibe you out with this one, give you a good mood, good feeling, so we can just wave and continue the night. Let's go. It's all vibes, man. Feel free to dance, do your thing. Already. <laughs> yeah. Made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah Made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah 
Make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. 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 Check me out. Oh mama, I'm in love, oh mama. She got my motema. She's the perfect formula. Kito kobe, ooh la la. I'll play the fool for ya. Never be cruel to ya. Just wanna be good to ya. Mamacita, señorita, huevenita, nice to meet you. Sexy features, my chiquita, looking sweeter. I already told you that I wanna get closer. We can ride the waves way deeper than the ocean. Make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. She made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. She made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. One more time, go. Oh mama, oh mama, yeah. She made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Check me out. Let me take you around a London town. I can show you how the thing go down. I can give you my bolingo. Uh, painting and I'm a lingo. Uh, speaking tongue like we bilingo. Uh, and we ain't fucking with the gringo. Uh, everywhere we go, the tingle. Uh, we're just moving where the wind blow. I already know that you wanna get closer. I'ma show you my love goes deeper than the ocean. Yeah. Oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. She made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. She made me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. I say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. You make me say, oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Oh mama, yeah. Mama. Thank you very much. My name is Shani. Make sure you check me out, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the set. And that is me. Oi, 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 that is you. So big, but you back such a heavy punch. My G, I love that. What did you say? Oh mama, oh mama, yeah. Dang. Listen, that was amazing. Like, I loved it. I know you loved it. We're not stopping there. Yeah, and my next guest, as you can see in front of me on Live Talks, is three wonderful ladies. We have a mother and two daughters. Yeah, we have... <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Wait, we said the capsule. If we've got Dion in the middle, we have Armani, we're going um, mum age down from there. Dion in the middle, Armani on the, Dion's left, my right, and Saf on the other side. Thank you for coming. Lovely to have you. You're part together. of my family, huh? It's good to have them all together as well. Good to have, no, we're, but this one missing, Danica's missing. Yeah. So I haven't got them all together. You didn't know, but I haven't got them yeah. all together. So for me, love having you here, but we know Danica's not here, but she's away of celebrating London, her daughter's birthday, which is fantastic. Yeah. Let me stop gassing. I'm a bit shook. Yeah, Dion, <laughs> Amali, Saf, what's happening? Good. You good? Yeah. All right. You know, you do know. Hold on a minute. Everyone else has come on before. Like they said, congratulations. Oh, congratulations on your 50th No, no, no. Oh, so not yeah. 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 More like it. More like it. More like it. Like two, four, six, eight, and all that. You know what I mean? Cool. Yeah. It's nice to have you here. Um, let me dry my, my, my sweat a little bit more. Yeah. I've had you all on the show at one point before. 
Yeah, separately, and now I got you together. I've got some questions for you. I've got a couple of questions for everybody, and um, let's just get into it. Yeah. So first, we're going to talk about you because I never got to interview you as in depth as I wanted to last time mm -hmm. because we had to talk about a lot of stuff which we digressed into, but we needed to address because it was very important. And that stuff bled into stuff that we didn't talk about in our interview, which if we get to talk about it today, I'd like to, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. But first and foremost, am I in? First and foremost, I want to talk to you, young lady. <laughs> yes, you, young lady. Um, we're talking about, we're going to talk, sorry? To yeah, 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 you can move it, yeah, move it, and then maybe you might have to get your mum so she can get in as well. Right, so, um, so excuse me, you guys all right, you don't need a drink or champagne, water, or anything like that, you're all right, yeah? All right, sweet. Here we go. Water. Somebody need water? No. No? Okay. Mm. You need water. So, do I? <laughs> Why? You need water. I need water. Because your mouth's running. Yeah, but my mouth runs though, yeah, you know that you, stuff. You need water. Oh, I'll drink some water. <laughs> huh? I've got water. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, what is the water shortage? Look at this. Which way should I go first, please? Mum, we just put them in order and I'll ask them. Thank you. Thank you, Al. Safra, mm -hmm. the youngest of three children. That's correct. Yes. Athletics side. We're going to go right into it. Athletics. Why did you get into athletics? Mm. Big Frank, pay attention because I can't hear you. Or well, go outside and talk, please. I got into athletics because my sister does running, Armani. So I did that kind of underneath her, really. And my mum yeah. used to always tell me, don't ever lose in sports day. Yeah. So from the not ever losing, I went to counties. <laughs> then, I went to, then I went to English school. Yeah, she said, don't embarrass me. Yeah. So that's how I got into athletics. With friends. Okay, go yeah. on. Um, your journey to that point. You've been asked these questions. You know what? You ask these questions for me. I just interviewed. You know yeah, yeah, yeah. You interview and I'll interview you. Yeah, take, 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 oh, take, take, oh, take. Well, should we just read from the card? No, yeah, you read from the card. No, take, come on. No, go on. Your question's for her. Okay. Let me go from there. All right, then. Okay, see, she sends me our card. It's your life to now. Yeah. Okay, so. Give her the mic. Give her the mic. Take the mic. Let's move the mic around. Take the mic out. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we. Like One more time, right? Yeah. So it's your show now. It's my show now. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I can leave now. I can leave. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. <laughs> so, on ah, Netflix. Can you imagine? So can you imagine? You imagine? <laughs> uh, I'm interviewing. Me, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, what achievements did you gain from athletics? <laughs> what did you? How did you get to the point? That's what happens when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 sorry, carry on with your show. Sorry, don't interrupt. No, go on. Sorry. No, ask the question. What are you talking about? No, ask the question. I'm playing. Ask the question. Sorry, I just. Okay. Been, I just so, what wow. was your journey in athletics? It started in school. Then from school, I went on to English schools. Then from English schools, I done counties. Then from counties, that was it. So, did you gain any medals, achievements, anything from yeah, that? Every step of the way. And what did you achieve? Mum, I don't really know how to tell you what you want. Okay, so you know you're not being nice. So go through athletics. What you your mum said, run as fast as you can, like yeah. run for us, go run. He's following her footsteps, yeah. You went, you was running. What was the first medal you got? Uh, Don't counties. Talk about counties. counties. How far is county? How far is what county running? What do you mean how far? How many miles? Involved in it? No, so you won in the whole county. Yeah, so you win in your county. Ah, you children, my son's the same. You lot play with yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah, yeah so yeah, you yeah. win in your county. You won an entire county. Yeah, so you got the county championship. Yeah, basically. What was the next thing you got? English schools. English schools. Yeah. What English schools? Like in the whole schools in England. Yeah, the country. You won, and yeah. you're sitting there like nah, 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 nah. you're not talking. <laughs> so you won in the whole. Where did you come? First, second, third, fourth. First. First. Yeah. Running, yeah? Yeah. Amazing. Well done. I'll clap at the end. You're not giving me that. I'll have to drag this out of you. <laughs> the next thing you got from... Uh, this why is my show, not your show. Um, the next thing you got... <laughs> no, I love you. I was messing. The next thing you got from running, what was it? Um, what do you mean achievement What was the next... Yeah. So, what, what, but hold on. What did you win for, in? You're saying that you won. What did you win? 100, 800, 200. Wow. And, and cross country. country. And cross country. Yeah. Thank you. I, yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we, we did. Ah, oh, it was painful. It's painful. Dion, you Very wrote the painful. questions, and the know, questions are right, and they're good questions. Maybe she needs more alcohol. I don't yeah, know. she's making us work for it. Go on. Oh. Someone got questions over here. So, how 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 long did you train? Mm. Like, how 
I used to train three times a week, three to four times a week. How long were those sessions? One hour to two hours, depending on what you're doing. So you could do like circuits, or you could do cross country. What age, what age did you start? Mm, I think I was 11. Wow. Yeah, well I was done. 11 when well I started. Well, um, you know what I'm interested in is that our school didn't say sprint. No. Yeah, I was long distance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was in 1500 in the cab. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well done, man. Thank you. Well done, Thank for you. real. Thank what after that did you do? Why did you choose dance? Because you've danced. Mm, what I danced dance? beforehand, so I did ballet. Okay. So um, scouts come to my school and then they scouted me to go to the Royal Ballet School and then I got a scholarship there. But when I was doing ballet, I had to decide if I wanted to do running or ballet because you build different muscles. So I chose running and I left the ballet school. Okay. Yeah. The questions are confusing me. You did dance <laughs> too, didn't you? So let's do the other system. Maybe I'll get more out of her. Than her. <laughs> We're going to bounce, yeah? So dance, what, what, what accolades did you achieve in dance and how do you feel like you've influenced your little sister? Talk about um, those two things. Well, I've always done dance. I've been someone that I've grown up and the first thing I wanted to do was dance. And anything else that you've heard from other interviews has gone on from there. But I feel like I influenced my sister because, you know, there'll be times when we was just at home, don't know what to do. I think, do you know what, boom, let me make up a dance routine, get her in role, involved. Yeah. Then we're doing a little, put up, put up a little performance, dress her up, maybe put on mum's heels from time to time. And yeah, That's and then nice obviously idea. I was going to like dance school. You know, I danced in school, but I also went to, um, I, I danced for Trinity Laban. Okay. I did contemporary and ballet mixed. Okay, so you, you were scouted for that? Yeah, so she got scouted for Royal Ballet, which is Royal just ballet. a straight wow. ballet school. And I went to um, Trinity Laban, which You're is a pushing contemporary all these, ballet all these school. champions? Not really, you know, I think it's by... So no, no, it's yours, but you say, well, I'm going to get my match. You're pushing that champions? Well, I hope so. That's what I achieve. yeah. I'm achieving well. Cool. well. Let's get back into my legacy. Easy. Well done. I could clap, I've got champagne in my house, but clap. Yeah, well done. No, seriously. Definitely. Sorry, your mind is interrupting. No, no definitely, definitely. Like, even I could say for myself, my mum inspired me because she used to run, obviously, in school. Um, so from there, I wanted to run. That's how Saffron also got into the running as well because she saw, you know, she was coming to my. Um, heats and stuff and cheering me on and so it was really nice to see that she then decided she wanted to do 1500 I was the sprinter I was one that did long jump so it was nice to see that she wanted to continue running mm. because I'd like to you know do a fast sprint off and be done with it so yeah I feel like when it comes to like dance and everything else it's just nice that you know it's inspired you know my well. yeah, 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 yeah it's really nice yeah. so yeah so you, you, all, you all sparkle you know I love you you know you're my family or whatever yeah? you know that not whatever you know you're my family innit Dion, pass the mic to your, to your mum, please. Like, let me ask you this question, right? Because I know how it goes. Um, voice point the camera as well. In the households, like, um, women always leave their mothers. Boys stay with their mothers, you know what I mean? The bond you have with your daughters, I know about it. It's so strong. Whether or not you live in the same house together, like, I see it. People look at it, check it yourselves. In society, sometimes, girl pity will go and they, they have a little... Adverse. But you, you guys' solidarity is... is, is yeah. <laughs> Can't get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> now you can see it. Everyone can see it in the room. Do you know what I mean? How do you achieve that? How do you manage to maintain you know that what? stuff? I like? think it's because okay, I I grew up kind of like an only child. Even though I had a brother, he was like nine years younger than me. I I was sent abroad, so then I was kind of like an only child. And I think what, I never had any friendship bonds with females. And I think I always wanted to have girls. The whole of my family's boys. I think I'm one of two granddaughters. That's it. Everyone yeah. else is boys and there's like yeah. 20 old grandchildren. Yeah. And like, so when I had these girls, I could do everything with them that I didn't have girlfriends to do. Oh, easy. And I, yeah. think, that, I think that's just where it came from. And then, you know, we, you know, in our time, we weren't as advantaged. Our parents didn't push us in certain directions. Unless you're good at maths, that, you know, you're nothing. I wasn't pushed to that do was, certain things. Yeah. So I think when my girls decided, whether they had a passion, if they tried it, they liked it, go ahead and do it. Mm. You know, always be the best at whatever you choose. That mm. was it. And I think they've always gone on to do what they've wanted to do. But do you know what? Yeah, first and foremost, I can still smell your fragrance. It's nice. It's so <laughs> fucking nice. I'm going to say that. I just got a waft of that fragrance. It's so nice. It's really nice. But secondly, I, I, I take my hat off to you that I haven't got on. But also, what you're saying, I was trying to say to Frank before as well, was easier said than done. Some people would like love to achieve what you what you what you achieve what you're achieving, but chemistry and that just don't allow it to happen. 
Certain things don't like to happen. Do you get what I'm saying? People have, like, I'm sure you guys have had your differences, yet you haven't let them differences alienate you. You've still got this bond, you know what I mean? I, and I know what. I think it's because I've, I'm a mum first and I always want the best for my kids. Yeah. And I think I've been quite a strict mum in certain degrees, but still allow. I don't know. I've just got that balance. I'm not, I don't know what it is. You'll have to ask them what it is. Give it a mic then, please. <laughs> <laughs> what was my mum's balance? Yeah. Mm, I would say you're a friend first. Yeah. I wouldn't say she's a mum first. I would say she's a friend first. She's a friend first. Yeah. So she knows what's going on with you without you having to tell her. And I think it's going That's the back best to balance, what Frank yeah. said. I, you, you, I, I, haven't, um, I haven't actually said to them, I haven't, um, what do you call, shield them from the world. Mm. Oh, okay. Right, I haven't shielded them from the world. Yeah. Like he said, mm. this is what's out there. Mm. This is what I've done. I'm not trying, oh, I'm a mum and I've never done anything. This is what I've done. These are my bads and these are my goods. Mm. Now's your choice. Mm. And I think yeah. that's all I've done. Yeah, I can definitely say, speaking from like me being one of the oldest, um, I can say, you know, my mum never shielded anything at all. I knew before I went out there and it was up to me whether I was going to do it or not. Mm. So I think when I said to mum, you know, my mum's very academic. Mm. so when it came to me I was like I wanted to be the opposite I want to be the star I want to be on stage I want to do this I don't want to sit there and read a book yeah, yeah, and yeah, write yeah, you know yeah. Saffron <laughs> wanted to read a book and you yeah, know so it was nice to that. To, to that. you know so when it came to me I was like look mum I get the academic thing I get it to a certain extent but this is what I want to do. It was, yeah. And the nice thing was that she, you know, she never said to me, no, you can't do it. You know, if you're going to do that, be the best. Yeah. Don't aim to be anything lower. If you want to be a dancer, aim to be the highest dancer. And that's what I did. And that's why I went to Trinity Laban. And that is why I'm still dancing. You know, I went to university and everything. Yeah, so I have to definitely say, like, going with what Saffron said, she was a friend first, you know. She let us know what it was. And I kind of just took that and used it. So, yeah, definitely. But I want to ask a question. Look at you getting all teary eyed over there. No, oh, oh, you know, you're teary eyed. You're teary eyed over there. Shit. What's you getting pissed off? You know, I'm like, damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big man, you need a drink? Yes. Let's get him a drink. Get mama a drink. No, they're not sisters. They're not sisters. They're not sisters. There's a mum in the middle and two doors on each side. Look. Yeah, yeah. they really look good at it. You look good at it. Yeah, I mean, Destiny's child, you know. She's Destiny, and that's her children. You know what I mean? He's not singing. Destiny <laughs> and children. <laughs> no, no, no. no. no, no, no. Thank you. There's mm. one more daughter. She's not here. There's another one, older one. I've got more. Yeah, there's one. three daughters. She's a grandmom. Yeah, I'm a grandmom. Sorry, that's said she loved. Grandmom. Yeah, clap, 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 clap. Sorry, pardon me. The question I want to ask now, yeah. And we're, we're gonna, I don't want, I'm not going to try and rush anything too much. We've got to get the other artists on and everything. We're going to do it like roll, 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 roll. So, we're going to get to your academic stuff. Now, I want, mm -hmm. this is for you two, even for you. Now, I know being a parent, and then I know being knowing you and knowing you, I don't know about you, but you've clashed at some point, right? And people clash. Like, parents and their children clash. Now, that was talking about how women clash. Women usually leave the house and not with their mums, innit? Mm. Boys usually stay with their mums, innit? It's just, it is how it is in the world, right? But I want to understand how, even after the clashing, yeah, I hear you're good friends and all this stuff. How do you reconcile? Because getting past stuff and having that, that's very important. Some, and that's what the glue is. That's the beautiful thing. Because I know you clash, but I can still see how close you are together. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why I'm in mean, awe of everything that your family represents. Mm. I love it. I understand it more because of what we've spoken about recently. Are you eyeballing me? Yeah. Don't be eyeballing me. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Private joke. But yeah, that's the question I'm asking. How do you get back after she's done your nut? She's trying to get involved in your life so much when you're a big woman, but you're not a big woman, but you don't want no one telling you nothing. But still, you've got your differences. You agree to disagree, but you still agree to be mother and daughter and friends and love each other like you're doing on the camera right now. How do you manage to do that? That's my question. It's a big contribution. It's love. Love okay. and communication. Thank you. I'd say love and communication because I'd say I'm middle child, so I know everyone always likes to say, oh, middle child's got middle child syndrome and all of these things. But I think it's also to do with the fact that we are forced to be like the older one. You know, your older sister's done this, so you need to be like that. But then you have your younger sister, so it's like you can't do that because you're going to influence your younger sister. So you kind of feel unbalanced. Mm. Um, and it's like finding your, your middle ground. I feel like with me and my mum's relationship... 
yeah, there was times when I was younger and maybe we would, we would clash mm. and I felt like maybe she didn't understand me or I didn't understand her. But I think what I've learned growing up now is that communication is the key. I wasn't really someone to talk how I felt. Mm. And I felt like once I had communicated that to her, she understood where I was coming from and I feel like it's like vice versa. I could understand where she was coming from. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of children out there that, that are out there today that don't get along with their parents and I feel like when I do speak to younger parents like some of my friends that are parents I do say to them you know don't fall into that old school routine where it's like you know rah, 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 and you're not getting listen to what your child has to say because if you actually listen and you hear them out you start to understand and I feel like when I started to understand where my mom was coming from and why she was how she was and she understood me I feel like yeah we built a best friend relationship you know I wouldn't say there's anyone else in the world that Which, comes close, nice, like always. Nice, beautiful. That's enough to clap as well, man. I like that. Oh, oh. You know what I mean? crying. Oh, my oh, no. God. <laughs> Listen, I want to get on to you, Saf. Like I'm saying, I'm sorry we're pressed for time. We've got to get the artists on. But I want to ask you about your achievements in law. Something my son's going to go into. Mm -hmm. Very, very bright young man. This is my future. That's actually going to be my answer for you. I want to see myself in five years. Supporting this guy in his future. That's, that's going to be my answer. I apologize. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to you now. He's like, take the light off me. Yeah. <laughs> take the light, you know, like, That's what I'm like. Oh, I don't want to talk. <laughs> so, law, right? You got a first in law. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where's the, she got first in law. <laughs> first in law. How did you do it? How did wow. you feel doing it? What, what motivated you? How did you get there? Talk to me about the journey, everything. Like, what did your mum do for you? Talk to me. You just talk to me. What do you mean for you? I'm not going to ask you every single minute and try and get yeah. blood out of a stone. You've got to give it to me, Shaf, okay? Yeah. Right? You've got to... No, seriously. Not like before. Like, cross country, yeah. 100, 800 metres. One, no, give it to she me, okay? She seems like a lot of the things that she does is effortless. So it's I hard... It's hard for her to explain. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't yeah, look like she, I don't really oh, know. Oh, I what tried. I tried so hard, and it was hard. But she <laughs> doesn't. <laughs> I think that's what he wants. Yeah, that's what he, like, he wants a sub story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he wants. But I haven't got one for him. <laughs> <laughs> haven't got one. Do you know what? When it comes to um, Safwan and <laughs> it comes to her studying, as you said, going back to what you said about it comes easy for her. Yeah. It does come easy for her. So she doesn't think, oh, Do I've had a massive achievement. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, like, yeah. How do you want me to explain this? I know. I went, <laughs> well, and I I went up the mountain. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it go. I got an epiphany. Yeah. Leave yeah, the bottle yeah, there. Exactly. Leave the bottle there. You don't drink, man. It's a, it's a celebration. Put the bottle between you. You don't drink, man. It's a celebration. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I was listening to you. I was making a lot of drink. Go on. You can use my story if you want. Yeah, I'll use your story. I went Thank up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> can I just say, before you start telling the story, sitting comfortably. Don't bring the donuts out. Thank you for my donuts. You bought them, but I'm saying thank you. I know, you. but you don't need to eat anymore because we've seen you. You're, just jealous. You're jealous. Don't be jealous. We've seen you. All right, tell your story. Don't be jealous. So you want to know about law, how I got there on my journey, or what Every is it that you want to know? Oh, Okay. Well, okay, so you, okay, no, nah, yeah, so much everything. Like yeah, you, okay, so you're 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 you're, you're beginning because so my son's about to do his thing. Go there, yeah. yeah. Okay, I decided to do law. Okay, I've got to do this and this. You're looking at a mountain right mm. now. You're looking down the mountain. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the journey. The mountain. So lo the reason why I began to do law is very very personal reason because we had a big tragedy in my family and I feel like okay. when I was leaving secondary school. Mm, I don't really want to get too into it, but we went through trials and I was in court a lot and I saw a lot of things and I feel like for me, I felt like that's where I wanted to be. And okay. I feel like when I talk to people on a daily basis now, because I work as a paralegal and well, I'm training to be a solicitor. So I feel like when I talk to people in really difficult situations on a day-to-day -day basis, it mm. really gets to me. It's a hard job. Mm. It's a really hard job. You're, you're fully equipped. Well done as well, man. Yeah. Now, now, you're, now I can see you. Now you're giving me what I want. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> it. So, like, you went through all of that. And like, mm -hmm. um, so, you had a decision. I know, the, I know what went on and everything. Um, so, when you decided to start studying and everything, mm -hmm. the, the journey of studying, like, going to uni, did she stay at home it when she studied? Did you go there? And what, you know, like... You, mm -hmm. effort, you talk about effort, effort yeah. effortless. Effort, I can't say the word. We're not talking about. And I understand because I know the journey of when she came and told you, "Mum, I got this." She goes, "What?" We'll talk about that afterwards. But 
You know, like getting up every day and doing it, having that consistency, knowing that's what you want to do, the, the catalyst that made you do it, like how, that journey, how, what, what was going through your mind? How did you get there? Like, talk to me. This, so this I started off in school. Yeah, there started you off in school. Tell me the story. Then I went to sixth form and I wasn't actually supposed to do law, but they didn't have enough people wanting to do the course that I wanted to do, so I picked law. Mm. Then when I picked law, I was like, I ended up being like the only one in my class. So I basically had one-to-one -one tuition because everybody did oh, nice. pass. Yeah, nice, 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 in nice, sixth nice. form. Then I went to university. Yeah. I moved out of home to go to university for the first year. Then I came back because I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't, no, no, I right. couldn't be away for that right, long. Right, okay. Um, now you're talking my language. You're giving me a story. Yeah, I couldn't, like be, talking, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't be away from that long. So I came back home and then I finished my studies at home, and then. Now I work in a solicitor's firm as a paralegal and then I'll be going back to uni in September to yeah. do my my masters okay. as a solicitor's course, yeah. yeah I, feel, I have to ask the right questions. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Lovely. No, yeah, lovely, lovely. I want you to be Okay, that, now I understand, like, sometimes I get lost in my own brain. Mm -hmm. While you was going through the thing, what kept you going? Because why didn't you go raving? Why didn't you go here? Why did you stick But I did. I wouldn't say that I don't have a social life. I would not say that <laughs> I'm in my books. I am in my books, but it's about having that balance because you have people that sit there and they burn themselves out. And yeah. then you're like, oh, I can't go out all the time. And you see it as a bit of a resentment, but mm. you have to have both. I always went out, always, but I had time for my studies as well. Some people are just nice. smart enough to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. always I, people that are just smart enough to, somehow they got through, but it was with you. Turning <laughs> up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dion, yeah, help me out. Any more questions? Any questions from you? Any questions from the audience as well, please? Anybody? So, like, see, like, the fact, see what I'll get here, that you're very tight with your parents. Mm hmm. With your mum, anyway. But, and the impact that your mum had just being around you all the time. Mm hmm. How valuable was that? Massive impact. Without my mum, I wouldn't be where I am today. M huge, huge, huge impact. She was on my back. Every, Way to go, mommy. Way to go. Way. Way to go, mom. Yeah, every Way second of the way, massive. You let me know that I could act. I do feel like you're tearing up. I told you, yeah, I told you. You know, maybe look like how mad when I said it. Like, no, no, no. You, know? you can't see now. Your eyes are glazed, girl. She didn't give me the way you look. We are doing a break. She let you know. She ain't that tight. She. No, but she was there for me every single step of the way. Like, Good. even with supporting me. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. Law is not an easy career to get into. And I feel like. I don't know how to really put it. Usually people who get into law and they become successful, they've usually got someone behind them who has already been in it. So to come from a family that doesn't have anybody in it, I have to do my own research. My mum has to let me know, oh, you need to go, you need to do this. Then you need to do my job now. You're she putting even, the work. Yeah, and then even a month ago, she said to me, okay, now you need to go do your master's in September. Don't take too much time out. So... Yeah, it's definitely yeah. Think, my mum. I think, I, think, I think you need to be behind your children. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, they might have an idea of what they want to do, but you just, they don't know about the world. They Let don't know, know the what's And I think you just have to be with them 100%. Mm -hmm. Mum, sorry, mum, did you share yourself equally with your parents? Because in my family, I'm the only No, 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 no matter what you do. So I've got my oldest daughter. She um, does, she went into kind of what I did, like kind of more on um, the business side of things. So she, and she's done very well in that. And then I've got Amani, who's very, she's like into the arty side of things and the dancing side of things. And then I've got Saffron, who's going into a whole different area. And I, I, I just, I gave them both all equal time. I don't think any of them can say that I put one to the side for the other because each one, your children are all different. You, you, there's not a mould for your children. So whatever they wanted to do, just do it to the best. Even if they wanted to be like, not saying that it's a job that's below them, but if you wanted to be a dustman, be the best dustman there is out there. It doesn't matter. Just be the best. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> It's a party. 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 It's a
automatically you're thinking the best job paying doc is a lawyer, doctor, this, mm. this, that. No, 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 no. no. Job is not off standard for yeah, my kid. Yeah. But that's where the pressure comes and that's where, you know what, if you feel you're letting someone down, you'll go and do other things mm. where you feel like, I, well, it's not what you wanted, but I can bring something to the table. Yeah. 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 And this is the thing. So what you're doing is very, very good. Oh, and thank you. Should, you should be, no, seriously, you should be very proud of this. Blah! 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 You already know. No, 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 no. You know what? You know what? You know what? Sorry. I don't mean to correct you because I love you so much. Not what you're doing, what you have done. Yeah. What do you have I done? I always say my children And what she's doing are as well. Like what she's done. Yeah. You know, you look at the achievements there, isn't it? She's still doing it. She's got her cousin like myself. She's got her grandma. I think I've just. Cousin Virginia I, in the back? Yeah, that's my cousin. She's still doing can it. Can we. Can we. You know, she's always there to support. All of us, Good. you know. Nice. She's a hate, so we've got Mama D! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I think, yeah, you got to. You've got I to. think my lovely friend in the back, Alan Chan, had a question for you. Hi. It's more of a, a thank you for uh, just making the guys feel like they're part of the family. Yeah. Thank you Yeah. Oh. Woo, 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 woo. Then I came to hear your stories because I never had parents who actually cared. So I had to go to my neighbours, yeah. my Jamaican neighbours, yeah. my Pakistani neighbours, my Nigerian neighbours, my Congolese neighbours, Indian neighbours. Yeah. Nice to see it works. It, it, works. it, it does work. Love works. I like it does work. work. It does work. It does work. Thank you. I mean, I must admit that I come from. Don't ever think that I come from. I don't know if anyone saw our interview with I. Go oh. no. Go and watch the interview. It's one of the most popular ones, though. Watch the interview. The interview is called Mum. It's with Saffron it. and and Dion. Armani has our own interview called Modeling. Mm. Go and watch the interviews on. The channel, I can't remember what it's called now. Too much no, to what you're saying, I, <laughs> it's on you know, I came from like a broken home. I didn't have the guidance that I've given my kids, but I just don't think that people should just carry on the same pattern. There has to be a change somewhere for our children. And that's that's kind of like my goal. And I think I've made the change. And it's it's continuing where I see my other daughter who has two, two daughters, the way she's Grandma. bringing up those Kids, it's wonderful to see. It does work, trust me. It works. If you put in the time and the love, it works. <laughs> well done. You know what's quite honest nobody had my back i didn't have any support i didn't have like a fan like my mum was always there or my dad was always there because they split up when i was three years old that's a whole nother story but i never had that but from going through all the trauma that i went through i knew this couldn't be right why am i going to carry this trauma through and i made a change uh, watch the and episode that's how I bought, yeah watch my episode. Watch episode i made the change that Not everything that is. was done to me or how i was brought up i did the total opposite yeah, it's on IOFOWLA TV. I remember it now. IOFOWLA TV. <laughs> Live Talks. So I don't know what episode it is, but episode called Mum. I just remembered now. So we're going to have to, we're going to rush on because we're pressed for time. We've got to get the artists up. Is there anything you want to ask me? You're the voice behind the camera. We're going to get you on again, maybe before the end, but I want to get the artists up and then maybe we've got a little bit at the end. But is there anything you, look, you want to ask me or the voice behind the camera? Anything else you want to say as well? No. Why are you not so dry, man? 
You look always got something to say or ask. ask the questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. 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 She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's a question. Yes, I am. And how about this one? Um, Amani Butterfly, your musical career, where are you going with it and what do you want to see um, happening in the next few years? What's happening right now? And describe yourself as an artist for me, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. You, yeah. you, you got the questions, right? You want to just wheel them slower for me? Okay, so Amani Butterfly. Answer. Yeah. Um, what kind of music are you producing at the moment? Where do you see, you see yourself as an artist in the next few years? Okay. No, 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 no. I'll no, take we'll... the first question. Okay, go So, on. what kind of music am I producing? So, at the moment, I'm, my, a lot of my music falls under contemporary R&B. Um, it's very radio, very now, but I feel like it's got that old 90s background to it because I'm kind of still bringing that back. Um, as I am in the 90s era, um, I haven't been compared to anyone as of yet in terms of sound. So, yeah, that's where my music at the moment. But I'm, I don't want to be under one category. That's it. I'm, you're going to find that I'm getting a bit of soul calm and a bit of this, a bit of that, a bit of rap, you know, a little bad girl on the side, you know, a sprinkle of sweet. I don't want no one to like judge me and say, oh, well, she's this artist and she falls under that because that's not who I am. I'm called Armani Butterfly for a reason and that's because I'm a butterfly, I'm free, I spread my wings and I fly and yeah. Just... Wow. Whoa. I like that. I like that. I like that. Dion, please wrap it up. Um, go ahead. Where can we find your music? So, my music hasn't dropped as of yet. I'm coming out as a fresh artist, but I am definitely coming out. So, you will definitely hear me soon. But if you add me on the gram, it's Armani Butterfly. Um, the E in the butterfly is a three, <laughs> just to let you know, <laughs> literally. Um, run joke, run I'll get joke. them to make sure that they put it up so you can add me on there. But definitely, you'll, you'll see my music drop very soon. And um, yeah, I'm coming with a big bang, so be ready. Nice, 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 nice. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of, um, I know you just said the thing. What, you, you, do, you do acapella stuff as well? Do I do acapella? Yeah. <laughs> right, you trying to get me to do a little <laughs> something? Oh, 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 right then. You see, you ready for that today? I'm ready for that. We'll put you, we'll put you in. Yeah, Listen, I, you know what? I don't want to spray the bars yet. I want you to, hold. Oh, you ain't got your seatbelt on yet, but when I come, oh, easy. Be ready. No. He just, just drops something right now. He just drops something right now. No, 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 no. Like be like ready. All right, Maybe all right. you can catch me on another interview and I'll right, see a little right, something. Right. I'll, take yeah? I'll, take Definitely. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right, that's, um, I think I'm okay. I'm really yeah, lovely yeah. right now. Okay, I want to get these guys on and sing some beautiful well tunes for you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Do you know what? I just want to say, like, really, really enjoying myself. It's taken a long time to get to episode 50, even though we've come past that. These guys that you don't see behind the camera are fucking amazing. They are. Do you know definitely, what I mean? Definitely. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, no, it's, it's very modest. Very modest. Very modest. And I could be here all day talking about how fucking amazing they are, but I'll tell them that personally, but I've just told you that now as well. Love you guys. Oh, I love you too, bro. Come on. And on the reverse... All of you in the room as well, seriously. You, you're just coming new, but all of you in the room, everyone, everyone in the room, you won't be in the fucking room. Swear to God. And you wouldn't be in the room. My little bro, he knows best more than anybody. You know something the person knows you the most. The guy in the back with the dark is on, everybody, that's my little brother in the back. <laughs> Only about a few years, I think seven years younger than me. Come Anything on. you lot might think you see, he sees and knows everything. <laughs> Trust me, and he still loves me. Love you, bro. Love you, Thank you for being here. Okay, on that note, we're gonna get some notes. From some artists, so we're gonna chop okay. there. Thank you guys, Thank just you. you're amazing. You. Wait, 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 wait. Something when we should do this, but <sighs> they brought me donuts, Dr. <laughs> Waters. These guys, and I love donuts and cake. So, guess what? Happy 50th episode! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Next on stage, exchanging details is. Alan Chan, quarter finest in the voice, what a fucking voice. My brother from another mother, very close to me. Come in, show them what you got. Alan Chan, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't worry, they'll be clapping after, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they hear you? No, they'll know. Hello. 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 Hi. Live talks, 50th. Come on, let's get it, 50th. I think I'm in the wrong building. <laughs> I'm looking for my uncle Jim. 
Yeah, walked into the wrong factory. Yeah. 67, 62. One second, one second, no, no music. Guys, listen, anything around you that is rubbish or anything of yours, please pick it up. Guys, I need to be out here by six o'clock. Last artist and we're out. We got this. Lovely, we've got 15 minutes, but just help me out if you can help me out when it's time to help me out. Love you. Yeah? Mwah. Alan, get it to them. Give them the fire. Thank you. Give them the fire. Give them the fire. <sighs> this is a cover, ladies and gentlemen. George Benson, Moody's Mood. Thank you. There I go, there I go, there I go, there I go. Pretty baby, you are the soul who snaps my control. Just a funny thing, but every time I'm near you, I never can be here. You give me the smallest and I'm wrapped up in your magic. Music all around me, crazy music. That keeps calling me so very close to you Turns me your slave Come and do anything, anything you want to Anything baby, just let me get next to you Am I insane or do I really see heaven in your eyes? Bright as stars that shine up above you Blue, blue sky How I worry about I just can't live my life without you Baby, come here Don't have no fear Oh, is there a wonder why I'm really feeling in the mood for love So tell me why I start to think About this pleasure, my dear This little dream my fate Talking out of my head again Oh baby Won't you come and put two hearts together Let me make it strong and brave Ooh, when we are one I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid If there's a cloud up above us Go on and let it rain I'm sure our love together will endure a hurricane Let me love you and release all this awful misery What is all this talk about loving me, my sweet? I am not afraid, not anymore, not like before Come on now, baby, won't you come on and please pull yourself I said I'm a rather respect, man. <laughs> Put us up and I said respect, man. Who up? Who up? What a team? What a team? What a team? What a team? One love. One. Thank you very much. Thank you. Whoa, na, 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 na. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alan Chan. That was amazing. My glasses are gone. I want to wrap this up. Listen, thank you, guys. I have drunk my weight in champagne and I'm happy. I'm happy you lot came here today. I'm happy to celebrate the 50th sh episode of this show, innit? Like, for you guys in here, love you guys. Hope you all feel nice and that. For you guys at home, anyone watching it, like, life talks, innit? Talk to each other, be nice to each other, spread love. It's just about being nice, innit? Fuck all the rest of this shit. The bombing, the this, the that, the that. Fuck all that. Just try and be nice. Just the person next to you, and you're good, innit? You know what I'm saying? Remember, life talks, IO Fowley, check it out. Official Big IO online. More things coming from CPC. And um, productions, you know what I'm saying? We got um, 
Frank, bruv, pay attention. Um, what is it? Um, Real Focus podcast. We had Shani. We had Ivan Moore. We had Alan Chan. We had Seth. Listen, life talks. All you got to do is fucking listen. Love you. Thank you so much. Ha, 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 ha.